Okay, I think we're about ready. Oh, still have that up. Anyway. So, we're gonna be playing Dragon Quest 2 now. Getting the achievements on Retro Achievements. We got all the achievements through Dragon Quest 1. Oh, hold on, did I... I didn't do everything. I... Okay, sorry. We got every achievement through Dragon Quest 1. I only took two streams to do. And now we're going to start Dragon Quest 2. Whenever I get an achievement, I will show it on screen. It doesn't really pop up, so I have to pull up the... Like, the web page, basically. So... Let's just get this started. Let your log one. Same stuff, so we'll just do... Here we go. Um, last time I ended up setting it to three, and in some ways it's still fast. What if I have it at four? Ages ago, a young descendant of the legendary warrior Erdrick defeated the Dragon Lord and returned the dragon uh, returned the light to the world. The young man, together with his bride, left on a journey to build several several new countries, several more than one. These countries were ruled by the children of that young couple and were handed down to the following generation. Hundred years have passed since then. This is Moonbrook. Do I move the text? It is a country far to the southwest of Laurasia. I don't move the text right now. In the courtyard of the castle, the king and young princess who are passing the time with a peaceful talk. However, what? What's going on? Is it anyone there? Oh, sire, it is terrible. The forces of the evil priest Hargon have invaded our castle. What? You say Hargon is attacking? Damn that Hargon. We cannot surrender. Summon the soldiers at once. Yes, right away. Now, Maria, you should hide in here. Oh, I'm gonna make a lot of Shadow the Hedgehog references. If there's anything that should happen to me, do not grieve. Father! Now, go quickly. I must inform the king of Laurasia of our situation. Come here, you demon. Take this, you bastard. Come here, you demons. King right in front of her and everyone in the castle honestly this is a way more interesting start to the game versus Dragon Quest 1 where it's just plops you in the castle so they really upgraded the seriousness I must go forth quickly and inform the king of Laurasia of our situation.
castle is in flames. Oh, you're wounded. What on earth happened? Forget about me. I must meet the king right now. There are evil deeds that I must relay. <coughs> <laughs> we understand. Let us help you up. If everyone in the castle finds out, there will be a widespread panic. We will carry you quietly. King of Laurasia, the soldiers of the evil priest Hargon attacked my castle, Moonbrook. Hargon has called upon an evil god to fulfill his intention to destroy the world. Your Highness, you must take action. Ugh. Prince Scapa, my son. Did you hear his story? You are a descendant of the great warrior Urdric. Now the time has come for you to test your strength. This is not the time to grieve. When you are prepared for your journey, come and see me. Please give that brave soldier a proper burial. Right away. The soldier passed away. Damn, what a start. <laughs> Prince Scottbot, it looks like the time has come the time for you to leave has come. But even though it is for your for, I, I didn't skip through. But even though it's for the people, I'm sad to see you leave. <sighs> I'm praying that you have a safe journey. Please be careful, Prince Scottbot. Come now, Scottbot. Open the treasure chest. Make preparations for your journey. In so, uh, so Maltria and Moonbrook, there should be others who share the blood of Lo blood of Roto, or Erdrick. If you combine your power with these people, you can destroy the evil beings. We found fifty gold and a copper sword. Be careful! Don't hesitate to equip your uh, equip your weapons and armor. If you just hold them. Uh, they'll be useless. Yeah, I should definitely do that. At least we start with leather armor, too. And we saw that there's a helmet available, too. Walking west of this castle, you'll come to the town of, uh, uh, Lyriza. I hear that traveler- I hear that travelers who head to Somultria stop there. Definitely explore around for a bit. Oh, can't explore over here. There's two doors here. I don't have any keys. You think as the prince, you know, you would have the key to some of these doors. Oh, Prince Scottbot, please don't go. It's hard for me to talk to you about such things. Th this is the moment I've been waiting for. Oh, never mind. Please forget about me. Don't waste your time on the wishes of a woman not to your liking. Ouch. Did that to herself. May the benevolent gods be the ally of the be an ally of the beloved people. Be sure to visit churches. Certainly, they will be, be an assistance to on your journey. We talk to you. A person who enters a traveler's gate will interested instantly be transported to a far off place. The gate here leads to an island somewhere. Oh, I want to see.
Yep, it is indeed an island. Now you can't do anything. I forget what the point of this one is. It, it feels so pointless. I forget if there's actually a use to it or not. Anyway. Probably just there to show you that teleports are a thing. I hear that there is a young prince in Somotria and a beautiful princess in Moonbrook. Prince Scapa, for certain, you should uh, share a bond with these people. The pointlessness might be the point. Exactly. Again, it's probably just there to show you that, hey, there's in some ways fast travel in this game. This is Loratia Castle. Uh, thank you. Thank you for that info. Welcome. This is an item shop. How may I help you? What can we buy? We can buy a leather shield soon. Oh, that might be worth it eventually. But there might be available in the next town. Uh, right, hold on. I want to talk to the dog. There we go. It's. I guess I pet the dog. Anyway, how's it going, Tyler? We got our first achievement by opening the treasure chest and gaining our 50 gold and copper sword. You know, an easy first achievement that apparently not everyone has unlocked. I don't know how. <laughs> anyway, I looked through the achievements for Dragon Quest 2, and there's only two missable ones, so not really worried about a lot of them. Most of the time, it's just playing the game. And as you can see, uh, we may be by ourselves, but we are fighting two enemies at once. That's a big step up than Dragon Quest 1. But how's it going, Tyler? How's it going? Uh, oh, definitely don't want to go down there. Doing good. Just trying to get some rest because I got a lot of fun. Uh, getting a bunch of errands done. Yeah, I I know the feeling. I don't think I want to spend time grinding here, although I could grind for a shield. Um, I might be better off just waiting for the next town. Today's been good. That's that's nice. That's nice. Uh, so how... I forget. Did you play Dragon Quest 1 and 2 at all? Or... I forget if I... I probably asked that before. But, you know. Since we're here. <laughs> okay. Uh, these guys are pretty weak. I have not, but I want to. Oh, right. I think I suggested play the Super Nintendo. Now I'm remembering the conversation. <laughs> yeah, it is available on Switch and mobile, but I have my own personal issues with those. But they are not bad versions. But I recommend the Super Nintendo version if possible. But yeah, so the, the setup... The setup of Dragon Quest 2 is we get to level 2, clearly. Strength increased by 2, uh, speed increased by 1, and vitality increased by 1. HP by 9, we found 9 gold. Anyway, so the setup to this one is that we are the descendant of the hero of the first game. They kind of implied we are the grand, the grandson, but it's also 100 years later, so I think we're probably the great-grandson at the very least. I don't know. That's kind of what it seems like. Uh, and, uh, yeah, after the ending of Dragon Quest 1, the hero took his bride and formed different countries. Apparently, he formed multiple countries. And the descendants of the hero of the first game ran those, uh, those three countries. That's the setup. And don't really care for the visual style, at least in comparison to the Super Nintendo. That's exactly why I'm not a big fan of the Switch version. That is the that is the exact reason. And like the monsters look fine. Oh, I'm dead. The monsters look fine, but the it's the it's the character sprites that I don't like. Yeah, exactly. 
Anyway. Well, that, that sucked. I guess I did need to level grind for a little bit. Not really for any levels. How much money do I have? Uh, I start. I now have less than what I started with. <laughs> oh, no. I guess I just don't have the HP to survive all the way there, so maybe I will grind for the leather shield. I should have done that. That way I have more defense. Dragon Quest 1 and 2. Basically forcing you to grind right away to get better equipment. Right, Molly. Exactly. Yeah, maybe it's a good idea to grind for the leather shield and get a couple levels. Yeah, they don't... In Dragon Quest 1, you know, you're only fighting a single enemy at a time. But now, you're fighting, like, three. And that can add up after a little bit. Might just play 11 first since... Oh, no. 11 is a great... Uh, is a great game to start with. If you've never played a Dragon Quest game before. But the trade-off is, like, that is definitely a way longer game. Not that it's a bad thing, but, like, as you kind of saw, Dragon Quest 1, I finished in, like, 8 hours. And I could have probably done it in less if I wasn't trying to get, like, some of these achievements, you know? Dragon Quest 2 is a longer game than 1, though, so... We'll see how long that takes. But not as long as Dragon Quest 3. So. Kind of a reason why they bundled 1 and 2 together. How much gold do I have? Oh, it's going to take a little while. I should have just grinded for the leather shield from the start. So yeah, one thing about this game is I bel no, I don't think your stats are determined by your name in this game. In the first game, you have like uh some stats are better than others and that's determined by your name. In this game, I don't think they do that. But what they do, however, is your other party members have like a random name chosen depending on what your name is. <laughs> It's going to take a little while. But yeah, most of the achievements in this set, honestly, are kind of just playing the game like normal. Other than just two achievements, and there's only like one or two things I need to keep an eye on. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Honestly, I think Dragon Quest 1 had more things I had to keep track of. For certain achievements. I'll definitely say this though, better battle theme than one. Honestly, one has the weakest battle theme of any RPG in my so far that I've known of. Makes the kinda like a seed or something like that. Yeah, I know. But yeah, you could play Dragon Quest 1 and have a completely different experience based on what name you choose, because it affects your stats. Apparently, the name I chose uh, affected affected me getting to level 3. Molly, what? Jeez, you're needy. Uh, it affected... I got a boost of strength and speed, but I got a lower max uh, HP and MP. I think that's what it was. Whereas here, I think all it affects is... It only affects the names of the other two party members. Spoiler alert, there's two more party members. <laughs> Even though they kind of said, no, go uh, go get friends. Go make friends with these other people. And you kind of need to. <laughs> but yeah, this game, from what I hear on the NES is really hard like this is if i'm correct this is like the hardest dragon quest game on the uh actually i think two nes is probably considered the hardest one maybe and what's funny is that's actually like the dumbed down version from like the beta apparently the beta was like so much more difficult i almost want to try out that version if that ever got released and it's mostly due to, like, the final dungeon, more or less. Granted, this game is harder, just in general.
But of course, the, every change other than the NES, they increase the amount of golden EXP you get from enemies, so it makes make, make you do less grinding. All right, Molly? Yeah, I have to do less grinding. But you don't care about that. You just want the attention. I can still play this game with one hand, though. So I can give you pets. Sorry, my dog really wants attention. She's a very needy dog. Think about coming up with weird sort of mechanics like that. I know. Especially since this was out, in, this came out in like 87. Before Final Fantasy 1. I, I should check how much gold I have. Although I think I need to branch out. I'm only finding slimes. I need to fight the slugs. I think they give more gold. I wish the game gives you a weapon at the start. More than freaking Dragon Quest 1. Oh, I have the gold. Where's your bone? Where's your bone? Go get your bone. Get your bone. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta wait in line. The dog wanted to buy something. Alright, leather shield. Why, certainly. Would you like to equip it? Yes, I would. There we go. How much is it to rest at the inn? Four gold. I don't have enough money to sleep at an inn. You think I'm rich? I just spent it all on a shield. Again, at least the game gives you a sword. I think the game, the first game only gave you like plain clothes, and that's it. You had to grind for everything else. Granted, in the first game, you were just some no-name warrior. No one even knew, like, if you were actually the descendant of the legendary hero. You had no proof of that. There we go. Uh, there we go. I got six gold. Okay, now I'll sleep at the end, and now I'll try going to the next town. But yeah, uh, the, the opening of this game is definitely way more intense than Dragon... Well, Dragon Quest 1 didn't really have an opening. Honestly, if Dragon Quest 1, like, the later remake should have probably added an opening scene of the Dragon Lord stealing the princess and spreading darkness across the land. I don't know why they never did that, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I don't know why they never did that, now that I'm thinking about it. But yeah, the game starts with Moonbrook getting attacked by Hargon's goons. And like the entire uh, kingdom of Moonbrook just being destroyed and everyone just being slaughtered. You know, for kids. Uh, and one survivor just makes it back to your kingdom to give you the information then dies right in front of you. What a trooper. At least these guys... Oh no, you're not a one hit KO anymore. So one thing you should... Uh... Yeah, exactly. And here's the thing. In the original Japanese Famicom version, it didn't show the, the actual Kingdom of Moonbrook being destroyed. It just showed the wounded soldier coming to the castle and then dying right in front of you. However, it was added to the original NES version. And it stayed ever since. So yeah, the original Famicom version never had that first cutscene. Honestly, the ex I mean, we'll be going to Moonbrook, so we'll still see the devastation. But still. This is the town of uh, Lyriza. God, th these names. Okay, relax and heal your fatigue before setting out again. 
This is a vault where you can store golden items. Sweet, they still have one. Item shop, what have we got here? Uh, medicinal herbs, which I... Honestly, I will need those. Antidote herbs, so we could be poisoned. You would have fixed it by now? You would have, uh... Repaired the Kingdom of Moonbrook already, even though it's been probably what two days. <laughs> Moon Chimera. How's it going, Hawkhorn Dog? I heard a rumor that the Prince of Laurasia has set set out to conquer Hargon. What? Are you that prince? Well, I'm. Uh, yes. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Are you doubting me? I, I just said no. You're giving me the same answer. Free real estate, exactly. If you set out from this town and walk to the north, you'll you'll reach some uh, Samultria Castle. Good to know. Did you hear the news that Moonbrook Castle was attacked by Hargon? Yes, I did. Really? It must be true after all. What a tragedy. This is Weapon Shop. What do we got? A uh, club is weaker than the copper sword. A sacred knife. Chain whip. We can buy chain mail. And we already have the leather shield. Well, what's been going on, Hawk Run Dog? What's been going on? Ooh, what to save up for? I think we're probably better off with the chain whip. We might be better off just saving up for the best equipment here. I forget if the Chain Whip still has the same properties as the Whip normally does. My younger brother is a soldier in Moonbrook Castle. Suddenly he arrived here and said he was leaving his son in my care. I haven't heard from him since then. Do you think that something bad happened to Moonbrook Castle? Oh no, she doesn't know. Well, I'm going to raid your drawers. We found a lottery ticket. A lottery ticket? Are you implying there's gambling in this game? This is a real RPG now. You can't have a proper RPG without gambling. Look what you made me do! I peed all over my foot! Oh, no! None of that! I didn't know you were peeing in the corner, I'm sorry! Each step you take when you're poisoned will drain your health. But if you have an antidote herb, I hear that you can that you can heal yourself. Yeah, that's gonna be important. Don't disturb us, we're in the middle of a date. Guess what? If you travel west of this town, you'll come to a monolith in which in which you can travel to Moonbrook. My father is a soldier in Moonbrook. That's so amazing! Uh I don't have the heart to tell him. The benevolent gods be an ally of the, of the benevolent people. How can the church help you? So you could go to a church and you could get get rid of a po get rid of your poison. You can if you're cursed. You could get rid of it with exercise. Uh, good. the new hero's banner is lame. So I'm gonna skip it. Skip again. Oh no, what's what's in the banner? And if your party members die, you know, when you actually have more more than one party member, you can revive them, because your characters actually die. This isn't a Phoenix Down thing, where it just, they're just unconscious. No, your character's are dead. And we have to go to the church and pay a fee to get our characters actually revived. Anyway, let's try to head to uh, the other castle. I didn't heal up, did I, from the end? Oh, well. See, easy walk. We're almost there already. But yeah, I'm doing fine, Hot Corn Dog. I look through the achievements, and there's only like two missables. So, not as much to keep track of. Welcome to Samultria. The other day, the southern sky could be seen burning bright red. Did something that happened to Moonbrook? Oh no. Item shop, what do we got here? 
we got holy water, and I think that just works like the repels. So, no, I'm good here. I don't need anything from there. Well, eventually I should buy some medicinal herbs. I'm a traveling merchant. Let me show you my wares. A weapon shop. What do you got here? Copper sword, secret knife, chain whip, leather shield. Chain mail? Yeah. It's, so it's the same shop as the other one. It just doesn't have a club. It's the corn game banner. Ah, I see. What magic the prince of this castle wields. However, he doesn't have great physical strength. I can't wear heavy weapons or armor. Good to know. So, yeah, we're going to be getting two other party members in this game. And we kind of have, like, three different kind of, not job classes, but kits. If you want to talk to the prisoners, please do so through the bars. Sadly, they have to be right next to the bar. The world will be destroyed soon anyway, but, if it, but it still isn't right to steal. Oh, well. Can you walk closer? There we go. Hey, kid, I'll tell you something good if you... I'll tell you something good. Obtain the silver key. With that one key, you'll be able to open all the Silver Edge doors. It's Azura, Yukimura, Mozu, and Hayato. Hmm, I see. Uh, I'm not surprised with Azura. She's pretty popular. There's probably a bunch of her. As well as Mozu. Yukimura is an odd one. You probably don't see him that much, but I'm guessing... Do they have good builds? Or is it just kind of mid? Recently, someone named Hargon threw the world into chaos. However, when the descendants of Erdrich joined together as one, the he the heaven, the heathen, the heathens will certainly be destroyed. There we go. I can read. <laughs> This is the chamber of the pr of Prince's Prince Kane's younger sister. Mind your manners if you go and see her. She looks like the princess in the first game. Who are you? Are you a friend of my older brother? Uh, sure. Let me tell you something really good. My brother is very easygoing. He couldn't have gone very far. He takes so many breaks on his journey. What if we say no? I see. So you come to sell me something. Well then, I'm not buying. Alrighty then. So he takes a lot of breaks. Ah, oh, there you are, Prince Scapa. News of your journey has already reached us in this country. How? I was the only one that left the castle. News travels fast somehow. Maybe they had a carrier pigeon. Oh, it's you, Prince Scapa. So you've come. By now, my son, Kane, ought to have traveled to the Spring of Bravery. Fruit, please find Kang and make him an ally. Scotland. To reach your level, you need two experience. Shall I make a record in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor? Yes. We shall. Yes, I will continue the journey. So as you can tell, there's now multiple safe points instead of just the first castle. I hear that there is a cave called the Spring of Bravery far to the north of Laurasia Castle. Mozu is mid. Yukimura is a decent unit due to his support ability. Hayato is... is the demote. And Azura is the best one, obviously. She's also the two unit. Well, of course Azura is the best one. She's actually popular. Somehow. Wow, well, Prince Kane is, li is a little absent-minded sometimes. Deep down, he's a nice guy. So now our goal is to find Prince Kane. Our, our cousin, basically. Yeah, we uh, all three party members are descendants of the hero of the hero of the first game. There's not gonna be any party members that are outside the family bloodline. Actually, maybe I'll um, I'll use the inn. Actually, wait, no. One level, uh, one battle. Get me my level up, and then I'll use the inn. Ooh, a wild rat and a drachy. That also means that none of her alts and her main version. 
we'll get a refine. Mm. So, wait, she's also... Remind me, what does a tuned unit mean? You probably told me, but I clearly forgot. Strength, match, XP, and gold. But, oh yeah, but one thing I was trying to mention, but I forgot, I forgot to continue what, uh, what I was going to say. Uh, out of your three party members, we have more distinct uh, roles. Uh, the prince, uh, the main character that we're playing, is purely a physical fighter. I, if I remember correctly, he gets no magic at all. The Prince of Sumultria, Prince Kane, is kind of the Jack of all trades, master of none. You know, kind of the red mage. He's an okay physical fighter. He gets some magic, but not. But, you know, he gets okay magic. Uh, MP and stuff. He can't equip all the best armor. Yeah. And then once we get our. Our third party member, the Princess of Moonbrook, she is the mage of the group. Just pure mage material. So, you kind of have your physical fighter, your mage, and then your all rounder. Uh, Heroes hasn't refined a single dancer in singer with the exception of a legendary unit, being Azura. Hmm. Is it because dancers are hard to, like, buff because their main goal is just to make other units attack. Attuned units are new and they get new skill slot as well as skills for that. Oh, there's a, there's a new skill set. Okay. And attuned units are a brand new brand new type. Kind of like legendary. A, bland, a brand new category. So does that mean that no unit will, that only attuned units will get the X skills? Or is it something that they're going to update older characters to have the ability to get X skills? Jeez, these rats are kicking my ass. And this is why I should have bought a uh, medicinal herb. There we go. There's the... There's where we need to go. However, how much health do I have? Uh, it's not a good sign. I think I'm gonna... Go back to the castle. Heal up. I think we could just go south. And then maybe get some medicinal herbs. Because I'm gonna need it. Attuning units can transfer the skill to other units, including the X skill. And just like rearm units, you don't lose them if you do. Ah, but it's only uh, it only works once, if I'm correct, right? You can only do that once. You would need another of the same unit, attuned unit, to transfer to another character. Yeah, now I'm remembering. I remember now. Where am I? Great, now I'm lost. And now I'm gonna die. Because I have no way of healing. I'm gonna kill the rat. There we go. I, th I know we are north of the first castle, but I don't remember how this map layout is right now. Honestly, the map of the first game is just easy to remember. Level 5 now. Alright. Definitely worth going to the end. Uh, head south. Okay. We're almost to the castle. Uh, better get rid of the big slug. Oh, slime, the slime ran away. <laughs> Scared of my level 5 strength, you know? 
He just instantly saw me and knew it won't survive. Okay, back to the first castle. Heal up and let's grab some medicinal herbs. Welcome to the inn. Four gold. Okay. Alright. Item shop. Let's buy... I th think we can hold up to six medicinal herbs. Let me double check. It does stack, right? Oh no! They don't stack in this game. I'll grab one more. I forgot they don't do that. It's because you're gonna get two other party members. So being able to stack medicinal herbs would be kind of broken. Okay, there we go. We have three medicinal herbs. Should be good. Maybe I should have bought an antidote herb just in case I got poisoned, but yeah. I'll live dangerously. So yeah, enemies are in groups, can be in groups now. And when you choose an enemy that, or an enemy group, it's kind of random who you target. So when there's like two enemies in a group, it, it'll kind of just pick which enemy to target. Like I, I could target the Draki, but I don't know. It could have been the right one. It could have been the left one. Uh... If I'm correct, if the whips work as they normally do, how the whips work is if you attack a group of enemies, it will hit every enemy in the group. But from left to right, the damage gets weaker. And there could be groups of, like, six, depending on the enemy formation. And there's going to be some spells that will actually hit an entire enemy group, and some spells that will hit all enemies. So yeah, a little bit more complicated than just your normal uh, Dragon Quest 1. I do kind of think that the AI tends to target the same enemy in a group. Like if you're doing seagull target stuff, I do kind of notice that. But as you kind of saw, when when my character was getting the crit, he targeted the other one. I don't know if that was because of it being random, or if it just knew to target the one at full HP. I'm pretty sure it's just random. I don't know. We'll see. Kind of hard to judge this since I'm killing them in one hit. Time to grab this treasure. That's guarded by three rats. And nope, ah, they're they're fast. There we go. But yeah, uh, so they added a new Azura hot corn dog. How many Azuras does that make? How many Azuras are there now? Ooh, King Cobras. That could probably poison. That could poison me. I should have brought an antidote herb. Ooh, fast too. Okay, still dies in two hits. Oh, he dropped treasure. Found an antidote herb. There we go. I'm gonna actually use a medicinal herb. There we go. Yeah, some caves are kind of unloaded until, until you enter in like that. It's kind of weird. I forget if they stopped doing that after a while. I think Dragon Quest Three at least does this, this sort of thing, but I think they stopped doing that after a while. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, better battle theme, that's for sure. Oh, another medicinal herb. Very nice. It's so nice when enemies can actually drop items now. Ooh, treasure. What? You found the antidote herb. Now I have two, so now if I get poisoned, I can cure it. Alright, what do you have to say? Welcome to the Spring of Bravery. Soak your body in these waters and seek the guidance of the great Roto. Or Loto. Or Erdrick. May Roto's protection be bestowed upon the hero. By the way, are you here looking for the Prince of Simultria? He did come here alone. The prince asked about a descendant of Roto that he might join. By now, he ought to he be headed for Luratia Castle. Okay, so it seems like Prince Kane headed to my castle to recruit me, so let's go meet up with him. And luckily, that spring was a full, he full heal. I don't remember if there's other treasure in this dungeon. don't fully remember, but we'll check down the stairs. I just wanted to make sure to talk to him. Because trust me, we have to actually go in order. We now have a sequence of events. This isn't Dragon Quest 1 anymore. I can't just go to where he actually is. No. No, we actually have a sequence trigger. That is both a good thing and an annoying thing, because I know where he is. And he's not here. Did you know that you could purify your body at the Spring Bravery? Yeah, I did. Wonderful. Now let me pray for your well-being. Okay, and I'm pretty sure the bottom right corner is a dead end. Why is he here anyway? Just to guard the priest? Probably. Every time it becomes nighttime, he guards the he goes up to where uh, the priest to be like okay it's nighttime get back to this room so we so you can head to bed but I gotta you know kill the rats along the way that's probably why he's there at least they could just heal at the spring why don't they just like get a bottle and just carry like water from the spring with them it's a full heal Okay, we never got poisoned. Ah, there we go. Alright. Gotta head back to the first castle. Alright. Go over here, cross the bridge. And down. I think we just need to talk to the king. Father. Alright. Move on over here. Again, once you gain a couple levels, the enemies are now just pushovers. It doesn't take long for you to kind of be on par slash overpowered from the enemies, does it? Kind of like Dragon Quest 1 in that way. Usually one level, it's like, oh, now I can one-hit KO you now with no issues whatsoever. Oh, level 6. How great. Uh, uh, strength and speed increase, vitality by 3, HP by 3, okay. And made it home. Actually, it wouldn't have been a bad idea to buy a Wing of Chimera, so I didn't have to walk all the way here. Oh, well. It's like, damn, did the prince, did Prince Kane show up? You returned safely. A short time ago, the Princess Simultria came looking for you. But you were at Simultria, and he knew that you would be returning here. 
And let's see. Might as well make a save. Yeah, I'll continue out the journey. I wait the day you defeat Hargon. That is when we can all rejoice until we meet again, my son. Okay, so he was here. Wait, does it... That wasn't the best explanation. Hold on, does... Okay, no. They don't really say. So, I, that wasn't really the best explanation. But the prince was here. But now he left. I guess he found out that we were at his castle. And now he's heading back home to meet with us there. I think that's what it's implied. So let's head back to Samultria. Oh, come on. Honestly, this this early section right here is just one big circle. <laughs> One big run around. <clears throat> uh, okay. Here, yeah, we'll cross through. Actually, I should check. No, I have like 200 gold. I can't really buy a chain whip or armor. Right? Oh no, he is here. There he is. I am Prince Kane of Sumultria. Oh, are you Scapa? Prin uh, are you Prince of uh, Prince Scapa of Laurasia? I've been searching for you. Now then, let us join our power and fight together. Okay, I thought we had to go back to the cat the other castle and then the king's like no the prince didn't come back here yet he's been searching for you and then you kind of just meet in the middle but i think you do have to go back to your castle to talk to the king maybe to get that text at the very least you do need to go to the screen of bravery at the very least i'm not sure if you could just head straight here after the screen of bravery though so, what does he have? Leather armor and a club. Yeah, he's gonna need some more equipment. Uh, weapon shop up here. And, of course, he starts at level 1, so... You're gonna have to do a little bit of level grinding for him. Let's see. What can we buy you? Uh, we can get you a copper sword. Sacred knife is better. At least he can use the chain whip, too. He could use Chainmail, he could use a Leather Shield. I'm gonna give him a Leather Shield for one. Just to give him another piece of armor. When you get a new companion at level one, throw I know Fish Mother one. Yeah, I understand that. At least with Mother one though, which, you could tell Mother One just kind of copy and pasted Dragon Quest. I, I bet as you're like watching this game right right now, you're probably thinking, "Oh, I see where Mother One got a lot of its stuff from." <laughs> just Mother One is just in the modern setting, you know, modern '80s setting. Uh, yeah, no, a lot of things were just inspired by Dragon Quest. Uh. Yeah, at least in Mother 1, though, when you get a new party member, just warp to Magic Camp. And that's where all the best equipment is. Yeah, I'm thinking I should grind for a better weapon. For, like, give myself the whip. That way I can give it to my character and I can transfer the Copper Sword onto the Prince. Oh, by the way, uh, that was an achievement. 
get in the prints. But yeah, in Mother 1, whenever I got a new character, I just kind of went back to Magic Camp, grinded there for a little bit, grinded for money to get them, like, the best equipment they could possibly get, because eh, the best equipment is in Magic Camp. It's kind of dumb, in my opinion, that you could just get the best armor right at the beginning of the game. I did find that kind of dumb. I wonder now that we have the now that we have Prince Kane, I wonder if anyone says anything different in Simultria. I forget if No, we were already told to head to Moonbrook. Kane's level two. Uh, speed by three, vitality by one, HP by three, and MP by six. Oh yeah, he has MP. Uh, what spells does he have? He has the heal spell. There we go. Now we don't need medicinal herbs anymore. Although it's nice to have. Because if I remember correctly, there's no way, there's still no way to recover MP as an item. Uh, how much gold do I have? Yeah, okay, I'm probably not gonna, probably not gonna actually buy the chain whip. Not here anyway. Gonna use the inn, and then we'll try to head to Moonbrook. Uh, now it's 12 gold instead of 4, now that we have a, n a new party member. Jeez, it didn't just... It did... It tripled the price when you get another party member. What a ripoff. Alright, let's try to head to Moonbrook. Uh, I'll get... Okay, you only have heal? But as you can see, look, page one. You could get, you could get way more spells now in this game. We could definitely make it to Moonbrook. We have he we have King. We have heal. But again, the name you uh, with the Prince of Samultria, his name is determined by whatever your name is. So, if you're playing the game, you'll probably have a different name for the Princess Simultria. And if it's anything like the stat system in Dragon Quest 1, capitals do make a difference. Uh, I went to a stat generator in, for Dragon Quest 1, and there was a difference between a capital S in Scottbot or a lowercase. So, that probably does matter. But we do know the princess is named Maria because of the opening cutscene. Oh, yeah, it's curious about the lore, and then it kind of just stopped playing. Uh, Mother 1 could pro. I could see why you would stop playing Mother 1. When I first played it, I bought it on the Wii U, and I recruited Lloyd. I, I think I got as far as recruiting Lloyd, and then I stopped. I don't know why. Maybe it was just. Because, you know, it's an old NES RPG. I don't know why. Anyway. Have you gone to the monolith to the south of Laurasia Castle? No, I haven't. One of my friends is awaiting for your arrival there. Please go and meet him. Please pass through. After a short walk south, you'll come to the town of Moonpeta. I think they block your path if you don't have the king with you. Or, the prin Prince Kane with you. They'll just be like, no, it's too dangerous to go alone. Find another party member. Find your cousin. Ooh, giant rats. As if the other rats were not giant. For Mother 2 is similar to Mother 1, but more fleshed out and a ton of new stuff. Mother 1 is based... No, Mother 2 is basically Mother 1... Again. <laughs> it... It, it does, like, all the themes and... It's almost copy and paste. But it's not, like... It still does its own stuff. But you could definitely see how they're basically the same game. Uh, level 3. 
Strength by two, speed by two, vitality by one, HP by one, MP by four. And he learned Fireball. And a rat dropped a wing of Chimera. Sweet. Who knew that rats had wings? But I do definitely recommend Mother 3 if you ever get the chance. That is a must play if you like RPGs. I know it never officially released in America, but that sh that shouldn't stop you. Mother 3 is definitely its own thing. Yeah, at some point I should definitely play the Mother stuff on here. My friend really wants me to play a version of Mother 2 or, you know, Earthbound, where it's like a fan upgraded... Hard, not hard mode. Well, some of it actually is kind of a hard mode, but like a, it fixes the game. It's Mother 2 Deluxe. He really wants me to play it. And I'm, I told him, eventually. Ah, uh, yeah, Porky. Mm-hmm. But you don't really know that's Porky for a while. Although, they don't really hide it. I don't know. Yeah, Mother gets kind of weird. Still waiting on Mother 4, that will never happen. Actually, I'm not that, like, where's Mother 4? Because I kind of expect there to never be another Mother game. And I still, I, I still want Mother 3 to be officially released in America. But I, I know that it will never happen. But I still want it. If Mother 3 ever gets an official release, I will buy it. I need to support the fact. I need to support Mother 3. It is so worth owning. Okay, I gotta heal. Kane needs to heal himself. Good. Yeah, no, Mother 3 is a must play. You don't necessarily need to play Mother 1 and 2 to understand Mother 3. Hell, you don't really need to understand Mother... You don't need to play Mother 1 to play Mother 2. Armored centipedes might take a bit. Then we got one more uh, heal. Ooh, one damage. I saw that. Okay, hold on. Can I run? No escape. I love that. There was no escape. Um. Yeah, I better heal. Okay, five damage. Oh good, I ran. I actually needed to run away there. <laughs> All right. Oh, is that you, Scottbot? Long ago, I was a servant in Lorishia Castle. It's a dream to meet you in a place like this. I need healing. I need to sleep in the inn. 24 gold. There's a lot of games I get told to try out. Tell me you're good at JRPGs. But the genre overall is a hit and miss. You like shooting games, but it's, it's kind of weird how it is. It sounds like the games you're good with, you're only hit and miss with, but the games you like, you're just meh at. Kind of a weird uh, situation to be in, isn't it? Well, what'd you say? Indeed, the world is becoming a tre uh, treacherous place. The other day, there was an incident with a thief in the vicinity of Somaltria. Luckily, the criminal's caught. By now, he should be in the castle's jail. Wahaha! <laughs> uh, let's see. Welcome to the town of Moonpeta. Moonpeta. This is the town where the people get together and socialize. We have a dog for a third party member. Yes, the dog is following us. 
Even in this place, you can record your journey in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. I must say, it's quite convenient. It is definitely nice to have multiple save points. I think there's a save point in basically every town. I say basically because there might be a town or two that doesn't have it. Oh, another vault. Alright. So I follow so the following game is, is a shooter and a role-playing game. The original games are more aligned to classic RPGs. But like this game. Yeah. The weird mix of shooter and RPG. Do you have a lottery ticket? The lottery is the is only a game. Don't get caught up in the fun too often. I do have a lottery ticket. Welcome to the lottery! Would you like to play? Yes! Would you like to hear the rules? Uh, sure. Press the X button once the lottery machine starts. Then once again to stop it. Match three sun symbols and you win yourself the grand prize, the gold card. Three star symbols will net you the second place prize, the play prayer ring. Oh, prayer ring is useful. That, okay. The prayer ring, if you use it in battle, it actually does recover your MP in battle. However, it does have a chance to break. There are a couple other prizes you can win as well. well. Then let's play the lottery. Let's see. No whammies. No whammies. No. Dang it. Oh, you were so close. No, I wasn't. Let me give you a lottery ticket as a consolation prize. Oh, I see how it. I see how it is. You want to get me hooked on the on the on the slots. Oh, you were so close. Let me give you a lottery ticket. This is how addictions start. <laughs> oh no, I I know. I, uh, dang it. Yes, I know. I know. This is this is the gambling part of the stream. <laughs> Oh, you were so close. Let me give you another lottery ticket. So, how many gambling addicts got started by playing RPGs? You know what I mean? Ah, uh, please come again. Okay, now he stopped giving me the pity uh, lottery tickets. Okay. You can't keep it going for uh, all for forever, you know? To the southwest of this town is Moonbrook Castle. Powerful monsters roam around Moonbrook, Moonbrook so be on guard. Okay, another weapon shop. What do we got here? Uh, the chain whip, the iron spear. That's really good. The steel sword, however, as you can see, Kane cannot use it. Chain mail. Steel armor. And a steel shield. That's a lot of gold. I'm probably still better off getting a chain whip. Because that's actually reasonable to get to. And that way I could give Kane the the copper sword. You know, you gotta do baby steps with this game when it comes to buying equipment. I hear I heard that inside a tower somewhere is a cloak that lets you float through the sky. When you put on that cloak and jump from a high place, you can float for a short time. Don't forget what I told you. Okay, a ton of Fallout content on, on YouTube. It's been a hot minute since I get stuff for the games on YouTube. I'm guessing it's because you watched one video and then they'll just spam your account, uh, your uh, feed with that type of content. I, I accidentally clicked on a video once, and, like, I immediately backed out, right? It was just purely on accident. I'm scrolling on my phone, and, you know, when you scroll on your phone, sometimes you accidentally tap instead of, like, hold and scroll, right? So I click on the video by accident, and I immediately realize what's happening, and I backed out. And then freaking my For You page just ends up being mostly about the, mostly with this channel. You know what I mean? It's like, dang it! No, I didn't want that.
We really need a way to hit multiple enemies. Okay, Kane needs to heal. Probably gonna be grinding for a little bit here. I know Kane is technically probably better off using. Oh, nope, Kane's dead. Kane's dead, everybody. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be in this area for a little bit. Kind of weird how the U two algorithm actually works. Although late, and look, uh, we we're dragging his cop coffin. You know, look at that. See, he's dead. <laughs> Unlike Final Fantasy, where it's just like, oh, they, you could probably make the argument that they're just unconscious. And then, like, when everyone's unconscious, they just get mauled by monsters, and that's why you get a game over. No, no, no. Dragon Quest, they're dead. See? He, uh, Kane, Kane's dead. We're dragging his coffin around with us. The status screen says he's dead. But now we need to go to the church. Revive. And we gotta revive Kane. Require a donation of 80 gold. It's spendy to revive someone back from the dead. Very spendy. But here's the thing. Uh, you gotta consider, is it worth uh, reviving or and spending 80 gold? Or is it worth dying and losing half your gold? Most of the time, you're better off just reviving. However, uh, like, <laughs> hopefully there's a way we can use a spell to revive. There is. But, so yeah, my gold just went, went down. Okay, I uh, stopped watching Fallout. Still played, but it's okay. Actually, I should definitely use Fireball on these guys. Nineteen damage. Yeah, that was needed. And I better heal. We're gonna be we're gonna be grinding here for a little bit. Oh yeah, one thing one thing I have not mentioned. In the original NES version of this game, you really got to be careful on who you target. Kind of like Final Fantasy 1, if you target the same enemy, if you have multiple people target the same enemy and the enemy dies on the from like the first uh from the first guy, you just the other party members just kind of attack nothing. So you really got to be careful on who you target. Uh, since Paul from Mitten Squad died. You stopped watching Fallout since Paul from Mitten Squad died. I do not know who that is. That's tragic. Oh, we found leather armor. Um, But due to the TV show and the burnt out by Souls-like games, we've been playing Fallout and the new free update coming up has really amplified the amount of Fallout videos that the game recommended. I see... Final Fantasy, I just reset until one until one stream you mentioned you can revive the dudes. Oh, what? You didn't know you can revive other party members? I'm assuming you mean Final Fantasy 1. Yeah, Final Fantasy. Uh, give? He already has leather armor, so that's just money. That's just money. But did you not know you could revive your party members in Final Fantasy 1? Oh, I thought Kane healed. Okay, so I need to use Fireball on an Armor Centipede. And now we just got the Magician left. Got healed. 
Content creator that did a lot of follow, follow challenge ones. Oh, okay. We do uh, things from just weapons to only walking to locations. Hmm. Instead of doing fast travel stuff. Oh, level seven. Cypress stick. Okay, that's just and fifty gold. That's just more money in my pocket. Oh, and I could probably get the chain whip. Hmm. Let's see how much money I get after I sell some stuff. I thought the churches were something completely different. I see. Yeah, because in Final Fantasy One, the inn is how not only not only do you fully heal from an inn, that's where you save. So yeah, the church was to revive. Uh, actually, first let's sell. Leather armor. Ooh, that's a decent amount of gold right there. And then the cypress stick. 15 gold. Okay, that's nothing, but. Now I can actually buy a chain whip. It's either that or I save up for, like, the iron spear. Or chain mail. Now, let's, let's buy a chain whip. And then I'll equip it, because, again, your main character is the physical attacker of the group. And what we'll do is we'll take the Copper Sword, give it to Kane. It's only a two attack power boost, but hey, it's better than nothing. Equip. Oh, wrong spot. Uh, status, equip. Pain, copper sword. Alright. Now that that's done. No, I don't I don't want to buy. Sell. A lot of maneuvering around just to <laughs> anyway. Okay, we're gonna sell the club. 45 gold. Was it when I was doing that Final Fantasy 1 randomizer? Like, my second... No, third game that I played. Alright, we got that. Um, I think I should save up for Chain Mail. Because both of these characters need it. I think that'll be best. More level grinding. Isn't this fun? Okay. Fireball! Oh, wow. Okay, so... One of them didn't die to the fireball. Okay, it is... It does not work like the other games. I think... Th maybe it was three that did that. Wait, no, I already used Fireball. We'll just attack. Let's not waste the MP. Also, one thing, if I'm correct, uh, the enemies have... No, I'm sorry. The, your party members, I think, have different level caps. Like, if... If your character's level cap is 30, Kane's is the 28, and the princess is like 25, I think. I don't remember if that was 100% the case, but I remember there was something weird like that. I do know that it's going to seem like the prince is going to be under-leveled in comparison to your character. But honestly... Uh, he, right now he's right on par with you. Even though he's two levels under than me. It's weird, I understand, but that's just how it is. I think Mother 1 does something similar. 
where even though the your party members look like they're under leveled, stat wise they're just compar just as comparable to you. I think that was just a weird workaround where they didn't know how to like balance the party members when they probably could have just made the early levels a lot quicker to catch up. And then once they're around your level, then it becomes like on uh, the same pace as you. Yeah, they could have done something like that. Okay, Kane's gonna need a heal. See, after we got, you know, my character a better weapon, this has been a lot better. And also, Kane has a lot more uh, magic. That definitely helps. He learned Antidote, so we don't need Antidote Herbs unless we don't want to waste MP. King needs healing. How much gold do I have? 341. I think one more fight should let me get the armor, but I should at least do a couple more so I can heal at the end. See, I almost don't need a better weapon than the Chain Whip. Already, like one shotting most of these guys as it is, except for the armor centipede. Those things need magic. At least the overall m music is still kind of relaxing. <sighs> of course, they target the same one. All right. Fireball! Alright. One more turn, and then I gotta heal. I get a crit. However, I should go back to the inn anyway. How much gold do I have? Okay. That's good. Heal up at the inn, get a new armor. Maybe I can make it to Moonbrook. Yeah, maybe I maybe I can make it to Moonbrook. So you know how Final Fantasy One is not really connected with any other games. It's not really popular. Are you talking about Final Fantasy the series in general? Yes, it is a popular series. And America is definitely more popular than Dragon Quest. And they're both very important series to RPGs, just in general. Unless you're talking about specific games, and that can vary depending on what game we're talking about. I'm going to sell the leather armor, because both characters have it. So there's no reason. At least I get 113 gold back. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to level grind for another thing of armor. Wait. Hold on. Let me go back. Just the first game. You don't really hear many people talk about it. But you also don't hear people hate on Final Fantasy 1. If, if you're going to hear hate on any of the early Final Fantasies, it's going to be 2. And that's due to its uh, system where everyone feels the need to, like, overgrind. Because that game is... Uh, Final, what Final Fantasy 2 do do, does with its battle system, or EXP system, it kind of get, gets rid of levels altogether. But what it does, it's like... Say you can equip anyone with whatever weapon type you want. There's, like, eight different weapons, weapon types you could go with. And so, if you decide to give Farian swords, the more he uses swords, the better he gets at using swords. So your sword skill levels up. It's almost like an MMO in that case. And all your stats kind of work similar to that type of system. So, like, to get HP, 
how it works is, say you have a max HP of 30. If you lose 20 HP in a single battle, the game will be like, oh, you lost a lot of HP. Here, let's increase your max HP. And your other stats can be boosted in similar ways. So a lot of people feel the need to overgrind with Final Fantasy II. And there became the joke of, oh, to get stronger, we need to hurt ourselves, sort of thing. So, yeah, no, you're going to hear, you will probably hear a lot more hate for Final Fantasy II. I, you don't really hear much talk about Final Fantasy I, but that doesn't mean it's a bad game. So, I was just thinking of maybe I should, instead of buying another chainmail and grind for that, maybe I'll save up for steel armor. And then once I buy that, I can give the chainmail from my character over to Kane. Same thing with the steel sword. I could buy that for myself and then transfer the chain whip over to Kane. Granted, he could still use the iron spear more. But no, uh, and also, it kind of also depends on which version of Final Fantasy 1 you're talking about as well. Because if you play the original Final Fantasy 1, the PS1 version, or the, or the Pixel Perfect Remaster, those do the spell charge system. If you recall, where it's like, more D&D &D in that sense. Oh, you can only use 10 level 1 spells, but you can only use, you know, 10 level 1 spells, but 2 level 2 spells sort of thing. Other versions of Final Fantasy 1, like the Game Boy Advance and PSP versions, just swap it to a more MP system, like every other Final Fantasy game. Lizard flies. They use magic, don't they? I remember them being annoying. Yeah, fireball. There we go. One more fight and then I think I need to heal. I'm trying to get to Moonbrook right now. Armor centipedes. Yeah, I'm gonna be wasting a lot of MP. Honestly, I think I should probably just start heading back. Because I know I'm gonna need more MP. Like the charge system, it was weird getting used to bonus day, wasn't it? Yeah, it's not a bad system. And every Final Fantasy game basically changes uh, its kind of battle its battle system. So that's the thing. If you like one system, you're probably not going to get it in the next game. I'm actually going to head back to town. Using up a lot of MP already. I don't think any other Final Fantasy game did the spell charge system after the, after the first one. Actually, no. No, I'm wrong. Final Fantasy 3 did. 3 used the sp spell charge system. Five kinda had a spell charge system. No, it was an MP system, but it, they had different levels of spells. Like, each, each spell was tied to a level. Like, you know, level 1 white magic ha has these three spells, but it doesn't... It still uses MP. I think the only other one that does an actual spell charge system is 3. Man. I have not played the Pixel Perfect version of 3, but I have played the NES and I have played the 3D remake. I really hate the 3D remake of 3. 
I really don't like it. It is easily one of the worst Final Fantasy games I've played. Like, just above Final Fantasy 13 and maybe 15. Because I found 15 kind of mid. I don't know. If, if I found 15 mid, then it's better than... It's better than 3. Dark Souls has a spell chart system. Oh. Interesting. I, again, I don't know too much about Dark Souls. Ah, uh, mandrills. Uh, they are dangerous. Mandrills are really dangerous. Just like in real life. Well, at least I got that accurate. Oh, late. Let's see. Oh, and level 7 for Kane. Alright, I need to use a medicinal herb. Yeah, I couldn't make it to Moonbrook. Right before the town! Uh, that sucks. I need to have... I need to do this. Let Kane focus on the Draki. While I focus on the armor centipede. I still don't think uh, we're ready to have just whenever we run into three armor centipedes, just have my character do all the attacking. I still need to use fireball, but I don't. MP, man, MP. I don't have that much. Jeez, I, I could buy another chain armor, but I don't want to spend the money when I could just save up for steel armor. How much MP do you have? 27? Okay. Let's try it again. Let's try to get to Moonbrook. Yeah, this is a better fight. But yeah, if you're gonna give a lot of Final Fan if you're gonna give Final Fantasy a shot, the first six games have the Pixel Perfect versions. And those versions are basically just take the original version of the game and make it look nice. Also fix some bugs. Basically. And they are good versions of those games, but what they don't have is like the extras that other versions have added in. They are the purest form of the original games, just with better visuals and music. So, like, in Final Fantasy 1's case, if you want to play the original version of Final Fantasy 1, I would recommend Pixel Perfect. But I can also recommend the PSP version because it has its own stuff to it, you know? Because, one, it changes the system to the MP system for magic, and two, it has extra dungeons, extra boss fights, and stuff like that. So there's more to potentially do. Well, let's kill the living dead. Can you kill a zombie? I guess we. I am setting on fire. I didn't know these things are called homey slimes, but they are. They are just heal slimes. Good, I defeated it. Okay, good. Yeah. It was kind of risky going after the living dead first. Or the zombie. Because any one of these heal slimes could have healed it. It was a bit risky. is farther south. Oh, wow! The Lolly Ho Ant and the Tahoe... Four Tahoe Drackies. I really need a... a move that can hit multiple enemies. Oh, no. He lowered my defense.
They keep lowering my defense. This is not good. At least my character was smart enough to attack a different Draki. One that was at full health. See, the AI, the AI is kind of smart sometimes on who to target. They changed to an MP system? Actually, no, two had an MP system. Oh, you're talking about Dark Souls. Okay. Still doesn't change what I said. Out of little of what I've seen in Dark Souls, I have never seen magic in Dark Souls, so I didn't even know that was really a thing. What? It's Hargon! The army of Hargon has come to invade! Help! The souls of the departed can't move on. Oh. I don't like this. Let's get rid of the snake first. I gotta use a fireball. These guys take like three hits with fireball. We might have to leave Moonbrook like right away just so I can heal up and not, you know, lose any gold. Jeez, this guy's still alive! Or undead. He is a zombie. See what I mean? This game is actually kind of hard. Be okay. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't really know Dark Souls had M magic. I mean, I'm, I shouldn't be surprised, but I just never really see anyone use... Like, talk about magic in Dark Souls. It's usually like a weapon thing, you know? Get giant weapons. Well, not giant weapons. That's a monster. Monster hunter thing. You know, use your weapons and dodge. You know, that's how I think Dark Souls. That was dangerous. I am the spirit of the King of Moonbrook. My daughter Maria was infected by a curse and turned into a dog. Oh, to see her again. So that dog that was following us in Moonpeta, that was the princess. Uh, I gotta leave. Go to an inn. Okay, I need to get rid of, like, everything other than the lolly ho. Other than the armor centipede. Fireball! Okay, so let's fireball the armor centipede. I'll have my character focus on the lizard flies. There we go. Again, magic doesn't really increase in damage based on your stats. There is no, like, wisdom stat in Dragon Quest. The spell itself kind of has a base power or base power range, and enemies just have might have resistance to certain elements. That's just kind of how it's treated. Actually, I want to get rid of the Cobra. I don't want to be poisoned. So the damage that we're kind of seeing with Fireball, that's just kind of what it's always going to be. Same thing with the heal spell. Kind of an interesting choice for Dragon Quest to make, you know? But that's just how Dragon Quest is. It's always going to be like this. Actually, does 
Actually, maybe not 11. I think they actually have a, like, an intelligence stat. It's been a while since I played 11. I forget. Because I know 8 doesn't have an intelligence stat. You just get higher level spells. And enemies have resistance to certain elements. That's all they really do. It's also been a while since I played 9. So I forget what they do. But I think it's still kind of the same. That's the thing about Dragon Quest. Every time you pick up a Dragon Quest game, you kind of know what to expect. They don't really change the base system too much. But it's also kind of the familiarity of a Dragon Quest game every time you pick up a new one. You don't really necessarily need to learn a brand new system that much. Or, there's very few changes. Like, sometimes they'll have a skill tree system, but it's still ultimate. it's still Dragon Quest at this point. I'm just gonna stick around here and grind up for money and buy a new armor. Fireball, go! Oh, I just re I just now realized we actually have a defend command. We couldn't guard in the first game. I love how our party members just... Oh, we learned stop the spell. I love how our party members just finally learned how to actually use their shield and guard attacks, you know? They weren't to be like, oh, there's actually a point to use this. Just stand there and block. All right, enemies can also call for help. And if they su succeed, another monster will just appear in the battle. That's always fun to see. I don't, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think Dragon Quest does like a call for help and then like a super powerful mo monster shows up. Usually, whenever it's called for help, it's usually either the same enemy type, or sometimes with certain enemies, they'll just call up a, like, a heal slime for support. But normally, you don't really see call for help, and then the final boss shows up, you know? <laughs> That'd be scary if they ever did that, just to throw people off. Alright, what's my... Okay, I do have enough for the armor. I'm gonna do another fight, so that way I can heal at the end. Maybe I should do a full grinding set, but... No. I can head to Moonbrook. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay, I know I don't really need to stay at the inn, but I need to be at full health. Full health and MP. the steel armor. Only I can use it. But we can pass down the chainmail onto Kane. It's going to take a second. Chainmail, give to Kane. Then we need to go and equip, equip it to Kane. Still don't have a helm. Now we need to go back in here and sell my leather, leather armor. Big roundabout way of doing this. Alright. 
now that that's done, I can start saving up for the Steel Sword. But now with our best armor and tow... No, I need a fireball. If I had the Steel Sword, I think we can afford to just go physical attacks on these guys. Because maybe my character can one-hit kill with just the Steel Sword and have enough attack power. But definitely not now. See, Kane still only does one damage. Very weak. Again, Kane is kind of the jack of all trades. Hey, leather armor. That's a hundred gold. That's like 120 gold right there. That's worth it. Honestly, getting a leather armor is almost better than gold. At this point in the game, anyway. Because if you were to die, you lose half your gold. But you don't lose the leather armor that you just got, so once you're back in town, you just sell it. You get your gold back, basically. Alright, All right, back to Moonbrook. There's more to explore. Gotta loot the castle. Also, we know from the spirit of the king that the princess was turned to a dog, but we don't know how to fix that. So we gotta find info on that. Right. Oh, level up. Oh, I just noticed they were the same level. Now I'm level nine. Only my strength went up, okay. There we go. It's my HP. Uh, we're fine, we're fine. So we know the princess has turned to a dog, but that's all we know. There is nothing inside the treasure. That's the saddest thing here. We got a fireball, one of the living deads. Look at that. that. That's a lot of HP. I think these guys are basically just HP tanks. Like, because their damage output is just okay. But it, they take like three to four hits. So these are just HP sponges, more or less. And they come in... When they come in groups of three, you know, it's going to take a little while. At least armor centipedes have high defense, making you want to use magic. There we go. There was nothing inside. No! Hargon looted the place before I could! In a land east of here, you'll find you'll see a place with four bridges in a small swamp. The mirror of Ra is there. I cannot pass away until I impart this information to someone. So to the east, there's four bridges and a small swamp, and the Mirror of Ra is there. What does the Mirror of Ra do? Don't really know what it does, but it is definitely important. Wow, they really hate Kane. Oh, they try to use illusion. Or okay. So I guess it's called surround, but it's illusion. So basically my character has lower accuracy right now. 
That's what it does. It's basically double, uh, like sand attack in Pokemon. Except sand attack can wear off in this game. <laughs> But it doesn't affect magic spells. Okay, Kane's gonna need to heal. But I think I can heal him after the battle. Usually, Illusion is kind of a good spell to, like, get an enemy affected by. It's terrible when it happens to you, but this this battle wasn't that bad. Oh. Okay, I can't make it there that way. Oh, right. To get there, you have to go up and around. Well, they didn't see me. I get the preemptive. Okay. I think we'll just come finish exploring Moonbrook later. I think what we'll do is we'll find the Mirror of Ra. I think I'd rather get rid of these Cobras first. There we go. Uh, antidote. And how much gold do I have? Uh, okay. I'm about halfway there from getting the steel sword. Oh, I do not like this. Two things that could poison me, as well as like three HP tanks. That's always fun. Oh, look. I got hit by illusion, and Kane is poisoned. This is gonna be fun. Although I think you can only be affected by one status effect at a time. And I think there's a priority system for, or like a tier system of what status effect overrides another. I better... Oh, you can't antidote in battle? That's annoying. I thought you could use antidote in battle. Never mind. You think you would be able to. I guess that's why you still want antidotes. Or antidote herbs. Wait, I just realized Kane's not losing HP. Does poison only affect outside of battle? Huh. If in that case it's not as bad. I thought I thought for sure poison worked in battle. There we go. Now I'll cure the poison. Alright, time to head out. Head back to Moon uh, Moonpeta. Or Pita, whatever. Okay. Get, get rid of the Lolly Ho Ant. Kane focuses on the Draki, gets the kill, and both target the centipede. Go back to town, heal up, and we'll see if we can find the Mirror of Ra. That is Z plan. I thought someone would say, oh, what the Mirror of Ra actually does, but no, we're just told that the Mirror of Ra exists. I thought for sure someone tells you. Oh, 
This is bad. Mandrills. I better heal now. I think I'm going to save my MP for healing. In fact, I'm going to heal. Heal now. Yep. Good thing I did that. Mandrills are dangerous. We okay, one left. Fully healed. Not fully healed, but we did heal up. Come on. Good, you attacked the right character. Good. Ah, oh, that was dangerous. I don't have any healing left. I hope we don't fight Mandrills. Good. It's not Mandrills. My only healing now is medicinal herbs. Yeah, my defense is lowered. Oh yeah, the thing about lowering defense, it only works on an enemy twice. After that, it fails. I know sap is a pretty good spell if you if it works on the opponent. Because some bosses are immune to it. Is that another leather armor? That's a lot of gold right there. It does kind of feel like I'm not making as much progress as I did in Dragon Quest 1. Spending a lot more time basically grinding, specifically, or just making small progress, you know? Dragon Quest 1, you're making progress, like, a lot. Why, well, I had two leather armors. Uh... No, not yet. I need another 400 gold to buy the steel sword. I do want to get a steel shield, but I'm probably not going to get it in this town. And I know Kane will want an iron spear, but I think it's more important to get the steel sword. What do you have? Herb, antidote, holy water. Oh, you sell a sacred knife. I don't need it. I mean, it is stronger for Kane, but no, why bother? It's not worth it for an extra two attack power. Can I do anything else here? Not really. Oh, I didn't talk to this guy. I'm so ashamed of myself. I was very frightened from when I friend. Uh, fled the castle. By now, Moonbrook Castle is... Oh, Princess Maria. So, at least two people survived the castle raid. Alright, let's see. East of Moonbrook, there's a spot with four bridges. I think we have one Chimera ring, so we'll make it work. Oh no, fireball all the time. Okay, good. You kind of notice the AI for my character attacked the, a lizard fly that had full HP. Because I think the AI knew it was going to kill it in one hit. Whereas the one that was weakened could be worked on by Kane. I think the AI is a little bit smart like that. If I remember, like, 100%, you know. Granted, there are probably examples where... You know, they've gone after the same enemy even though they were weakened. I think it it's determined on, like, hey, can this character kill when the opponent's at full HP sort of thing. 
Uh, yeah, I better use a fireball. It still takes, like, two attacks, or two turns, with only physical attacks, so I better use fireball. If I get the gold for the steel sword, I might just warp back. That way I have a stronger weapon right away. We'll see. Where's my gold at? We're getting there. Okay, to the east. A spot with four bridges. There's the four bridges and a patch of swamp. In the swamp. Didn't find anything. We found the Mirror of Ra. That was easy. And with that... We've obtained the Mirror of Ra. That was an achievement. Alright. Time to head back. Uh, I think I'll have Kane focus on the heal slimes. I'll have my character attack the zombie. Oh no, both are affected by illusion. That's not good. That is bad. And I don't, oh no. No, I better focus on the heal slime. Jeez, even when Kane gets a crit, it doesn't kill a heal slime. All right, let's heal Kane. At least it's not affected by magic. This is fun, right? This is fun. There we go. Il I don't have a way to get rid of illusion. Well, uh, Hot Corn Dog, you miss me obtaining the Mirror of Ra. We don't fully know what it actually does. We didn't find anyone to, that told us what it actually does, but we've obtained it. <laughs> Oh no, Kane can't use spells. That's okay. We won anyway. So now we're heading back to the for, uh, Moon Peta. I do want to get 15k, or 1500 gold, first. Uh, okay. Yeah, I thought about getting rid of the ant... Oh, they can cast sleep. I forgot they can do that. That's why I usually get rid of them right away. I forgot they can do that. Okay, now we'll focus on the armor centipedes. Now, status effects are really good to use in Dragon Quest. Final Fantasy, whenever I think about potentially using something like poison, uh, sometimes slow, or uh, like sap, it's almost not really, like you're almost just better off with buffs. And even then it's like, you don't need that many buffs. But like Dragon Quest, no, like you typically wanna go with stat debuffs, like illusion. Like, Illusion Sap. Uh, there's no attack debuffing one, is there? Anyway. Sleep. Sleep actually ends up being a pretty good spell. Or like this story rather than gameplay. I think if you were to play Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy, you'd probably say otherwise. When it comes to story, because you, you saw Dragon Quest 1. What story? <laughs> Again, the story of Dragon Quest 1 is just 
The dragon, the dragon lord is bad. Go stop him. <laughs> this one, Hargon's bad. Go stop him. But you've seen, you see what Hargon's done to Moonbrook. There's more to it. You see that, uh, you see Hargon destroy Castle Moonbrook. Okay, I think it will be... <sighs> no, no, no. Okay, hold on. So now what we're supposed to do... We examine the dog. I don't think we... We don't talk to the dog. I think we just use the Mirror of Ra. You gazed into the Mirror of Ra. What? The mirror reflected back the form of a beautiful princess. The mirror shattered and removed the curse that was on the princess. Oh, I have been returned to my original form. I'm starting to feel like my old self already. I am the daughter of the King of Moonbrook. I'm sure you know by now that Moonbrook Castle was attacked by Hargon's army. I was changed into the form of a dog by a curse and taken here. By now, Moonbrook Castle is in ruins. I'm afraid to think of what ha has happened. Please let me accompany you as an ally. Let us fight Hargon together. The cut content is what really interests me. The final product in cut, cut content is what I like. Uh, can you give an example of what you're talking about? So yeah, we got all three party members and Maria's level one. Isn't that fun? Anyway. So, we now have our full party of three. We have the main character, the physical attacker and tank. We got the print. We got Prince Kane, the all-rounder, and we got Princess Maria, a Moonbrook, the pure, the mage of the group. All right. First, I'm gonna buy a steel sword. I will hold on to it. else hold on a minute so let's see i'm going to give the chain whip to probably kane oh maria can't use it anyway so now i have to equip the chain whip there we go Let's see, can I take the copper sword and give it to Maria? No, she can't use it. So now I can sell the chain whip. Uh, not the chain whip, the copper sword. Bye, copper sword. We don't need you anymore. Okay. What can Maria equip? So, I still need an Iron Spear for Kane, just to give him a better weapon. But for now, he's kind of fine with the Chain Whip. Mm. Other than the Steel Shield, I can't really buy anything else. There really is nothing for Maria, is there? She can't even equip a leather shield. We can give her the sacred knife. That's a, that's something. That's something. We'll grind. For, we need to grind anyway. Oh, and the over yeah. Once you get all three party members, the overall music changes. You know what? I better cast fireball. Does she start with any spells? She starts with heal more. So yeah, already better than Kane. And I think I forgot to show... Yeah. Break the princess's curse and get her to join the party. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll just attack. Of course our first fight with, with all three party members is with mandrills. Why wouldn't it be? How much damage do I do now? 31 damage. Yeah, it was worth getting the steel sword. Let me guess. Maria leveled up. Oh, no. I leveled up. Level 10. And we got a club. Okay. 
Yeah, I hope you didn't like- I, I hope you don't care about the first overworld music, because you're never gonna hear it again. At least I don't think so. Nope, she can't use it either. Yeah, we just gotta get her the... You get her to the sacred knife. We're gonna do another fight or two. Alright, I first want to get rid of the King Cobra. We'll focus on the Draki. There we go. Ken can actually kill the Drakis in one hit. Isn't that character development? Man, if you could drop a leather armor, that'd be super nice. Maria rose to level 2, speed by 4, vitality by 2, and she learned sleep. That is going to be useful. How much gold do I have? Okay. I am going to heal up at the inn. I'll buy a sacred knife for Maria. That way she has a stronger weapon. And I think I'll save. 36 gold. The price went up because, you know, three people. If only you can play this game with, like, you know what? I don't want to recruit the prince or the princess. I want to go solo. The game doesn't let you do that. <laughs> you can't continue. You, you have to recruit the prince. Actually, can you move on without recruiting the princess? What's stopping you? I actually don't know what's stopping you from recruiting the princess. Anyway. Let's see. Let's sell the cypress stick. I'm actually trying to think if that there's something that blocks you from re continuing if you don't have the princess. I can't think of anything. Maybe we'll get to one soon, but... But yeah, I can't think of anything. The you have to recruit Kane. But I don't... I can't think of anything that's stopping you from recruiting Maria. If there isn't anything stopping you from recruiting to Maria, then maybe there is a way to play through this game with just the hero. Well, not through the entire game, but there would be a way to play through a good chunk of the game and beat the game as a single character. I doubt it would be possible, though. Pokemon Red and Blue has tons of content. That clarifies decisions or things that don't make sense in the final product. Yeah, that makes sense. You probably see a lot more of that on older games, you know what I mean? Like, you probably won't see too much cut content like that in, in a more modern day game. If that makes sense. Uh, I mean, obviously there's going to be stuff on the cutting room floor, but... I think nowadays, most most of the time, you're just going to get everything that they thought of. Um, what was I just doing? I think we'll just... Okay, we're going to Moonbrook. We're going to make a stop at Moonbrook. Oh, well, Final Fantasy was going to have a sixth class? Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna have the, I'm gonna have my character attack the mandrill, I'm gonna have Kane cast stop spell on the lizard flies, I'm gonna have M Maria cast sleep on the mandrills. Okay, I only affected one of the lizard flies. But both mandrills fell asleep. That was useful.
now since both Kane and Maria attacked the lizard that wasn't sealed or didn't get his magic sealed that was really useful that was a very useful first turn see what I mean like Dragon Quest when it comes to like status spells like they are very useful Hell, even in Dragon Quest 1, I used sleep a couple, uh, a lot. Stop spell, not so much, but I used sleep a decent amount. You know, when I actually got it. Army ants. Um. I think they can summon more, so we'll just cast sleep. And here's the thing, stuff like sleep and stop spell works on an entire group of enemies. So when there's a good four or five enemies, it's kind of worth trying out. Get some of them to not do anything. Fe one was going to have Fog of War. Oh, that would have been awful. That would have just been awful. Did Fe 2 add Fog of War? Or Gaiden, whatever. Did it add Fog of War? Saber was also to be supposed to be in the first game but was put in the ds instead hmm yeah there were a few like new recruits in the ds version of shadow dragon um you know what let's go with this yeah there was a good like what five new recruits like four or five new recruits in the DS version, depending on if you get the extra, uh, sorry, the extra chapters. Fog of War was a Thracia thing, but clearly Kaga thought of it for a long time. Just never implemented it. Interesting. You think you would have tried during uh, New Mystery of the Emblem? Serpent and Naga. Hmm. What do we know about Serpent and Naga? So if we take the princess to the king. I am the spirit of the king of Moonbrook. My daughter Maria was affected by a cur- Oh, you say the same thing. Father, it's me! Wh who's there? I can neither hear nor see anything. What do you mean? You kind of reacted to me, though. I'm the spirit of the King of Moonbrook. Who is that speaking to me? Father, it's me, Maria. The voice that I have longed to hear. Is it my imagination? But look at me now. I... It, it can't be. I can see. It's you, Maria. F Father! It seems you have changed back into your beautiful form. Because of your efforts, I can feel that my soul has returned to my body. Truly, you are wonderful. I now I don't regret leaving this world. Father, I... Don't be sad, Maria. You have accomplished so many wonderful things. Moreover, you have forged a power of friendship. Scott, from now on, seek to help... Seek the help of Maria... Come now, I must go. At long last, I can see the gates to heaven. Father, I certainly will rebuild Moonbrook Castle. I understand. You are my beloved daughter, and you will do your best. I will always be watching over you from heaven. Well then, farewell. Oh, I can see heaven's gate. Thank you take care that was depressing <laughs> that was really depressing but for that you also get an achievement talk to the spirit of the king moon brook with the princess in your party serpent was supposed to be a snake person okay i kind of figured it'd probably be something like that either that they are serpent who are a shapeshifter who turns into a serpent Naga was a dragon quest. I had a feeling Naga's where the Naga was going to be a uh, Maniket. 
basically. Actually, I don't need to cast Fireball. I could just cast Sleep. Oh, and my character is strong enough to one-hit KO. Okay, no, my character targeted the one that was weakened. And this one woke up. Okay, so... Wait, if... If Gaiden actually had the Serpent class, would it have been the first game to have a... Lagoo-type character? Because, I mean, you had dragons in every one. You had mana cats, but... You know, every game... Oh, you can't put zombies to sleep. Okay. But every game kind of has a... Okay, not every game, but a lot of games have some sort of animal shapeshifter type of class. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cast Heal instead of Heal more. So would Gaiden have been the first one to do it? If it actually had the Serpent class? I think I will cast Fireball, since we're illusion. Mystery of the Emblem had three cut classes, Dark Knight, Guardian, and Sea Dragon. Okay, I think I can understand what Dark Knight would be. Basically, I'm just kind of thinking of what the Death Knight was in Three Houses. Um, basically a cavalier that can use dark magic, probably. Something like that. Sea Dragon is probably just a maniquette that's water-based. What is the Guardian? Okay, yeah. Um, Camus was supposed to be the dark, a Dark Knight. Okay. Kind of what I'm saying. Uh, a Cavalier that has like some dark magic. But yeah, what is Guardian supposed to be? But yeah, it is kind of interesting to look into cut content of especially older games. It's kind of why I like getting like some of these art books. Like the... Sadly, the Dragon Quest one that I got was literally just that, an art book. To show all of, like the concept art of like... Enemies mostly, enemies and characters mostly. I have like the Final Fan. I have like two of these like Final Fantasy ones that not only show old artwork, but they'll show more. Like they'll show like early concept art and character bios and do a lot more of that. I do like those types of art books. Wait, Dark Knights were only supposed to le wield lances. No magic. Then what's the distinction between Dark Knights and just a normal Cavalier, or a Paladin, I should say? Do they have higher magic resistance? Instead of defense? Although Paladins had swords and lances. Too bad I can't put these guys to sleep. Hmm. Just a unique job class for Camus, and that's really about it. Just to make Camus feel special. <laughs> They just make Camus a paladin that only just hold a held a lance, right? So it's like, what's the difference? Hi. What? What? You're needy? 
Are you needy? My dog's needy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Are you being needy? You are. Yes, I know. Yes, you, you're being so needy. Yes. Maria's level 4 now. MP. She got no HP, but at least she got MP. Infernos. Is that the Sizz spell? That might be the Sizz spell. Right, Molly? That's also part of the reason why I probably should have gone with Dragon Warrior. I'm more accustomed to those spell names. Right, Molly? Right? Oh, Princess. I was unable to protect the Princess. Because of that, the Princess is in, t in a town somewhere. Her form has changed by a curse. However, if you have the Mirror of Ra, you you will be able to reflect back her true form. Ah, uh, that's how you're supposed to know. You will be able to undo the princess's curse. Please, travelers, the princess, the princess. Could it be? Is that Princess Maria? I can't believe it. It's her. And he was able to move on. Dragon Quest can get surprisingly depressing sometimes. Right, Molly? Right. I know. I thought there was like a hidden passage somewhere. Okay. Um. Gonna have... Do that. I am going to have... Actually, I'm gonna have Maria cast Infernos. On a group, on the group of King Cobras, it should be the Sizz spell. Yes, it is. It's basically fireball that hits a group of enemies instead of a single target. Definitely what she needed. Right, Molly? Right? Right? Guardians were supposed to be an enemy who only used lances and have high res, low defense. Okay, kind of what I was saying. They were implemented in... Oh, they they were in the 3DS version? Go get your bow. This was Mystery of the Emblem, right? So, yeah, I have not played any version of Mystery of the Emblem, so I didn't know that. Are they in the base game or were they a uh, like a DLC sort of thing? Okay, I am going to have you use inf Sizz. Wow, that was a big damage range. Oh. I see. The middle one apparently guarded. I... Don't- I didn't think guarding affected magic. Okay. So guardians were cavaliers with high res low defense. Dark Knights was just going to be a cav- that- a cav unit that only Camus was in. Just to make him feel special, I guess. Uh, they were implemented in Shadows of Valentia 3DS. Yeah, when you said 3DS, it kind of made me second guess. Okay. I need to get back to playing that game. At this point, I probably just need to start the game over again. Like, a few months ago, I went back to playing... Sh I went... I started playing Shadows of Valentia. Like, on a replay, because I... I haven't played it since launch. But I've only basically got to the end of Chapter 2, and I haven't booted it up since. And I got distracted, so at this point, I think when I play it again, I might just need to start over completely. Yeah. I wanted to play through the DLC. Because I bought it before the 3S shop closed. And I specifically didn't want to play Shadows of Valentia again until I got the DLC.
Why did they move it to Shadows of, uh, Shadows of Valentia? Hmm. It's hard to say. Because they did remake Mystery, uh, Mystery of the Emblem on DS. So, I'm trying to think of what Mystery of the Emblem added. Obviously, it has the your new creator character, and I guess some story stuff involving that. Like a prologue. Not a prologue, but like a side story that you could do. But I don't know if that there's anything else that was added to New Mystery of the Emblem other than, like, maybe some extra chapters for that character. So maybe they could have added gu the Guardian class. Anyway. Uh, let's see. We healed up. Stops people from dying? What, just Phoenix Downs? Oh, Phoenix Downs recover someone that's already dead. Uh, there are some items that I think recover you if you die, but... Yeah, Phoenix Downs. It was probably only called that for text limitations, but Phoenix Feathers is probably accurate. Um... I feel like there's an item that just did an auto life, but actually, no, I don't think there was. However, in Final Fantasy, there are, depending on the game, there are some revive spells that just set up auto life. So if you die, you just automatically rev revive. Okay. I think I'm gonna have you do this. Mandros are dangerous. There we go. Yeah. I don't know what new mystery the emblem added. Because I do know that Shadow Dragon had a, like, Wi-Fi shop you can access. Where you could get, I think it was Elysium Whips. So you could change, like your Pegasus Riders to a different exclusive class. Can't access it anymore, unless you play the Wii U version, but you can't buy that anymore. Alms Fragment. If the character had it who died, it would be revived and then the item disappears. Really? Interesting. You probably only get, like, one of those. Maybe only one per game. I mean, Fire Emblem 1 had this... Basically, I would revive staff. It only... It was only usable once. But you get it at, like, the second to final chapter. So it's like, if you really need a character back, you could revive one person. But other than that, Fire Emblem didn't really have any like just revive staffs or something Gaiden uh do I need yeah they could cast sleep Gaiden had a couple of revive fountains the dark dragon stone Tiki could be using Tiki could be a dra dark dragon interesting I thought, wait, remind me, I thought dragons just had, they didn't change form, they just could only use certain type of dragon stones depending on what type of dragon they were. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay. I think I know where I need to go. Centipede. Okay. Eh, uh, we'll cast Fireball. 
Yeah, it was a good idea. Yeah, I thought, like, Manikets couldn't mix and match Dragonstones. Granted, like, whenever a Dragonstone is involved, it, they're just kind of the same type. They don't really attempt to mix and match. And didn't you say there was, like, a Sea Dragon? Yes, yeah, Sea Dragon. Specifically for them, since they put their power into the stone. That's what I thought. Heroes does break the lore a bit. That uh, dragon skill keeps their form no matter what stone they use. Well, I, I don't consider heroes as canon, so I don't take it that seriously. But, yeah. Yeah, I say I don't take heroes as canon, but yet freaking... Uh, what's her name is in is in engage as a bracelet although it was DLC but she's in there Veronica I don't remember either way she is in the game but... to me the mobile game is non-canon sea dragons were enemies in maps with water they use breath attacks okay so it wasn't a, you couldn't get a recruitable sea dragon. It was just a di different type of monster on the ships. Okay, that makes sense. Although I'm trying to, is Tiki evil in Mystery of the Emblem? Again, I haven't played every three. In, in the first game, she was being mind controlled and she was a boss fight and could only be recruited if you had the other dragon with you to break the hypnotic spell or something. But she was an enemy in that game. If you didn't have the dragon, the other dragon with you, I forget his name, you couldn't recruit Tiki. She was evil, but not of her own free will. Maybe she had a corrupted form in Mystery of the Emblem? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't played it. Okay, let's get rid of the King Cobras. Let's put these guys to sleep. I don't want to get affected by poison. Alright. There we go. But it's kind of weird. It's kind of interesting that the last couple of Fire Emblem games kind of got rid of like the shape shifting type characters, at least for recruits. Like, yeah, we haven't had. I don't think we've had a like a Lugu type character in a while. But oh, we got Return. We got Zoom. That's nice. We don't need Wings of Chimera anymore. I think we need to go this way. Um, but let alone, we have, I don't think we had a Manicat in a while. Like, you were, you are a dragon in Engage, but you never get a dragon stone. So you never get to transform into a dragon. What are you doing, Molly? What are you doing? And in, in three houses, yeah, Rhea could turn into a dragon, but if I'm correct, you can never recruit her. So no one in that game could transform either. Kind of interesting, the last couple games kind of got rid of the shapeshifter characters. What was the game before that? Uh, Shadows of Valentia was the the game before Three Houses. 
That was a remake that didn't have shapeshifters. So was Fates the last game to have shapeshifter characters? I guess so. Weird thought. Weird thought. Up and around? There you go, up and around. Yeah. I Shadow Dragon, there was going to be a staff called Harlong. If you use it on an ally, it made the weapon they had equipped infinite durability. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. That's a cool concept. Imagine doing that to a brave weapon, though. Like, it, it would probably break the game, wouldn't it? But granted, you probably would only get that type of weapon at the very end. Like, second to last chapter kind of thing. Kind of like the revive staff. Mm. I think we'll go this way. I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna use sleep on these guys. It's not worth it. Yeah. And they never brought that type of, uh, staff into, like, any of the games. Granted, some games already have infinite durability on weapons, but... You know, it'd be interesting if they, like, remade one of the games and then just introduced that into it. Were there any bows in genealogy? Yes. Uh, yeah, there were bows in genealogy. What's her name? Uh, it was that thief bandit girl that had a bow. Like, near the end of the first half. I forget her name. Hold on. Now I want to remember. Okay, what was the char character's name? Uh, Bridget. I think Bridget had a bow, didn't she? Yeah, she's seen with a bow. At least in her artwork. Yeah, she's a sniper. Yeah, she has a bow weapon. Start. She starts with a, sil a steel bow. Archers are cut content. Is replaced by bow fire. Oh, okay. Honestly, what's the difference between an archer and a bow fighter? No. Let's be honest here. What's the difference? That's what I'm thinking. It just sounds like a name change to me. Doesn't sound like a cunt. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was not what I meant to say. A cut content. It doesn't sound like a cut content sort of thing. If only had a bleep box right there. Me miss saying things really backfired, didn't it? Anyway. Okay. Sleep on the mandrills. Oh, one of them didn't fall asleep. Are they gonna attack the second one? The one that's not asleep? Yeah, they're focusing on the one that's awake. But yeah, it sounds like a name change to me, not cut content. So yeah, we had to go all the way up and around. We're still going. Cut skills in genealogy. 
Uh, like what? What was cut? Holy sword, dark sword, darkness sword. Return, remove, and recover. Hmm. If I am gonna take a wild guess on some of these, holy sword and dark sword sound like they add an element to physical attacks, but they only apply to probably the hero and the villain. So, for example, I'm thinking Self would have a Holy, holy Sword ability, and it adds a potential Holy Element to his physical attacks. Or there's a chance that the holy, a Holy Spell will activate or something. And then the reverse for the Darkness Sword, but the villain has it. That is my guess. Return sounds like if the character has that skill they get a free return to head back to home base without needing to use like a warp but warp staff i do not know about remove recover just kind of sounds like uh you get a few you get a little hp back per turn well yeah how accurate was i <laughs> Or maybe Holy Sword and Darkness Sword could be like, only this character can equip this legendary weapon that matches that type. I don't know. But that's what the Holy Blood is for. Oh, could it be a pre uh, precursor to the Holy Blood idea? Like, they were going to have Holy Sword and Dark Sword to uh, restrict on who can use the legendary weapon, but then they added the Hero Blood idea. Increase damage by 20 and has a chance to reduce damage by 20. Oh, I was way off. I was way off. Well, at least 20 extra damage just sounds insane. Well, it's not extra damage. It's probably more like 20 extra attack. Even then, that sounds broken. That just sounds so broken. That honestly sounds really broken. Alright, we found a medicinal herb. Okay, they didn't see me. And zombies can't be put to sleep, so... Yeah, not much to do. Darkness Sword had a chance to boost damage by one, two, or three times. And had a chance to reduce damage by 20. Huh. Interesting. So I'm guessing every time whoever had that as skill went into battle, it rolls whether or not the damage is times two or times three. If it's times one, it's the same damage. And then there's always a chance of reducing damage. Both of them have that skill. Interesting. Again, both sound completely broken. Same ability as the return ring. So I was right on that. You use the item, you go back to the home base. So I was correct there. That's what we need. Remove is just a rename of Kanto. Oh! Okay. It's move again, basically. I thought it meant remove, like remove an enemy from a field sort of thing. Okay. It's just Kanto. Okay. Recover is the same as the recover ring. Again, get some HP back per turn. 
So some of those are just like, they're not cut skills. They're just, they've just been renamed. Focus on the zombies while the other two focus on the trackies. Wasn't there one more? Wasn't there one more skill? No. Okay, that was all of them. Okay. So I was way off when it came to light sword and dark sword. But I'm glad those were not implemented because that sounds broken as hell. Thief staff was going to be in genealogy, but it was cut. There was also going to be a charm skill. The effect is unknown. Charm staff. Oh, okay. Well, the charm skill was already in the game, right? Boost accuracy sort of thing. But, yeah, I don't... What could you do with it? Like you just cast it on a uh, on a on a unit, and it, it increases the accuracy for t for a few turns. Okay, yeah, I went the wrong way. Yeah, so with this tower, you're not supposed to go up the middle. You just lead into dead ends. As you can see, you need to find like the outer staircase and go around. Dead end. Is there one up here? Oh no, goblin rats. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna cast sleep. I don't know what they can do. One, one woke, woke up. There we go. Maria's level six, strength by one, speed by seven, vitality by three, HP by one, and you weren't, and she weren't learned surround. Okay, she got illusion. Did we? No, that just that's just an exit. But we need to head back in anyway. We need to find a different staircase, just not the middle one. There we go. I think that's the one we want. How much? How, how much is it? two? Okay. Probably, probably it. Probably worth using surround on the zombies. Oh, is it Kane? No, I leveled up. Strength by three, speed by three, vitality by one, HP by one. Uh, not the best level. Eh, strength is always good. Ton of cut names in Thracia. Cook, uh, great grandfather of who? Don't you agree, don't you agree that you should watch your step when walking around the outer edges of the tower? Yes, I agree. Great grandfather of Asbel. Oh, okay. You sure are a smart fellow. Well, you ought to watch your step, or you'll fall fall from the tower. Yeah, I already fell off the tower once, but that was on purpose. Just to kind of get out of here. Alright, what's in this treasure chest? Okay. I'm gonna cast Surround on the Living Deads. They've been hit by illusions. 
And if I'm correct, it doesn't really go away, so... In some ways, it can be better than... Sleep. Sleep, they can't do anything until they wake up. Illusion, they can do things, but... You know, they'll probably miss. So, take your poison. A lot of them were in genealogy. Really? Hmm. Actually, let's get... Okay, let's get rid of the smoke guy very quick. Honestly, right now, Maria's more useful as a... For setting up status effects instead of using Sizz or Infernos, whatever it is. Infernos, yeah, it's 4 MP, but like setting up Illusion or Sleep is usually pretty good. After a little while, enemies will start being immune to those types of spells. So then just going on the offense is the better option. Alright, what do we got in here? 350 gold? Okay. How much gold do I have, anyway? 3,000! I could get a steel shield. Okay. Two staircases. I think you want the one on the right. But let me just check. Yeah, be very careful. You can fall off easily. Gonna be training class for, for the flyers and sacred. Oh, really? We found the wind mantle. Okay, so you did want the middle one, and that was another achievement. See, wind mantle. That's what they Interesting. So, a, a fourth trainee unit. I'm gonna be honest, though. I think with how many chapters there are in Sacred Stones, adding another trainee unit probably wouldn't have been a good idea. And also, remember, there was only two arenas. It was probably a good thing they didn't add another flyer. Or, I should say, another trainee unit. If they made the game longer, then sure. But yeah, I it was probably a good idea they didn't have another training unit. Well, by the way, you want to have... Who has it right now? Okay, Kane has it. Someone needs to have the Wind Mantle as an accessory. Equipped. And what did we get at the top floor? A prayer ring. Okay. The prayer ring is basically something that's too good to use, but it's always good to have it. Give it to Maria. She can use it more. So, with the Wind Mantle, when you jump off a tower like that, instead of going, like, one square up, as you see, I went, th like, three squares up. That's gonna be needed. Is this a dead end right over here? I think I need to work back. So, this, this fourth trainee unit... So it sounds like once they get to level 10, they can choose to become a flyer. What would have been their other uh, jobs uh, skill tree? Three Houses has a ton of content. Really? I remember the first trailer having uh, something to do with your uh, battalions a lot more. This way? No. Okay. 
I think it's a good idea to just cast Return. Okay. The Return spell goes to the last place you've been to an inn, I believe. Cut dialogue and whatnot, okay. But I, remem I remember in the first trailer, there was like more to do with the battalions. Like, you could change the battalion's, like, uh, formation, and certain formations had the rock, paper, scissors mechanic. Like, some formations were better up to go up against for other ones. I remember that, and then that didn't go through. I am going to sell the club. Now I'll buy the steel shield. Yes, I will equip it. Oh, whoops. No, 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 no. Wrong button. Apparently the X button is also the same as the A button. Alright, hold on. I want to look at the leather shield. No one else can use it, so I can sell it. Uh, I'm going to give Kane a couple medicinal herbs just to kind of get it out of my inventory. And I'm going to give Maria one of the antidote herbs. There we go. All right, I'm going to sell the leather shield. Let's see. We can give Cain the iron spear. Is that what I think I will do that, so we'll get him the iron spear. Alright, we'll sell the iron whip. Or the chain whip. There we go. Now we can move on. Engage has mostly cut in combat dialogue. Okay. So not much was lost in an engage. Interesting. Okay, we are at a point where we just kind of need to explore a bit. Wait, did I... Oh, sleep didn't work? That sucks. Even Mariah. Who was Eva Moran again? Oh, leather armor. I can sell that. Remind me, who were those characters again? again. There we go. Put him to sleep. Perfect. Marion is the father of Diamant. Oh! The one that died. Okay. So wait, is Eve the, the mother of, uh, what's his name? Alphonse and the sister. Man, I'm blanking on names. I'm bad with names, if you couldn't tell. Or Eve wasn't the, the queen of the Sand Kingdom, was she? Was that... Were they just the kings and queens of, the, of those other countries?
And Mother Saline, the Alfred and Sir Saline, yeah. Okay. So that was that was Eve. Okay, so those two were gonna be recruited. Interesting. At least early on, conceptually. You didn't really say anything about, like, uh, Blazing Blade and Binding Blade. So, was there any cut content in there, or was there just not much to mention? As well as Awakening. You, you kind of skimped over Awakening and Fates. Obviously, some of the cut content in Fates was just censored in America, but in the Japanese version, don't count that. Uh, antidote. There we go. Okay, where was I supposed to go? I know where I need to go, but I forget where it's at. Just attack these guys like normal. Yeah, if I didn't put them to sleep, they wouldn't have summoned more enemies, but it doesn't take much to kill these guys anyway. The Lolly Ho ants, on the other hand. They can cast sleep. That's more worth to cast sleep. Well, I think this is where I need to go. Left to Moonbrook. The wonderful people who resemble the heroes are here. It is unacceptable that I have not yet finished my training. I don't know what you mean, dude. Metal Slimes! Okay, um... Let's see... I'm gonna have these two attack the Metal Slime, I'll cast Sleep on the Mandrill. See, now Metal Slimes are gonna be easy- have a better chance of being killed. Because we can have three characters attack Metal Slimes at once. Before it runs. Blazing Blade had earlier concepts for the Trio Lords, but it's basically the same as Filed Father. Interesting. Interesting that pretty much everything kind of stayed the same, more or less. What do you want, Molly? What? My oh, dog, you're so needy. Yes, I, I see. You're a needy dog. No. Okay, that's enough. Down. 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 There you go. Alright. Let's heal Maria. Oh, okay, hold on. Are we almost there? Explore to the left of Moonbrook. Nope, not there yet. Oh, okay, we got man eaters here. Still gonna put the mandrels to sleep, and it failed. Uh, I think I still will try to cast sleep on them. Uh, never mind. Uh, kind of a waste of a turn. No, no, not fireball. There we go, get the heal off. Molly, what? 
go. N <sighs> we can just get past the desert. Well, we got two of the rats to sleep. That's good. Yeah, what about Binding Blade? Here we should still fight centipedes. Fireball. There's a ton of names for Blazing Blade, but besides one, all of them are in the game. They were going to be playable at one point, or just had earlier forms. Huh? Huh? Interesting. Interesting. Oh my god! Like two steps, really? Okay. Can I put the man eaters to sleep? No. I mean, they're plants. They don't seem like they need to sleep. But they can put me to sleep. That's not annoying. there. You can see it. Uh, I'm gonna focus on the man-eater and I'm gonna put the mandrill to sleep. Yeah. One less enemy attacking me. There we go. We managed to dodge the sleep powder. Finally made it to this tower. Okay, no one's here for a second. So I'm uh I'm gonna step away. It seems like Molly needs to go outside. I'm gonna step away for just a minute and I'm gonna like refill my water and take care of all that. Be right back.
All right, I'm back. Sure. <clears throat> Binding Blade has one cut character, a boss. It cuts sprites for female versions of some classes. Hmm. Um. So there was going to be one extra boss. What, what classes were male exclusive? Like the warrior? Was there going to be like a female warrior or something? Whoops. Travelers, did you know? Uh, no. These famous twin towers are called the Dragon's Horns. Or Horn. Long ago, a bridge connected to the opposite shores of the towers. There may still be a way to cross to the other side. Well, we do have the way over. But they kind of didn't necessarily tell you. That's what the wind mantle was for. Let's get the mandrels to sleep. I guess only one mandrel. Kang got a crit? Good for him. Ooh. Who leveled up? Kane, level 11. Let's see. Strength of 1, speed of 4, vitality by 2. Oh, uh, was chat not working for you, hot corn dog? Is that what that test was for? Medusa Ball. Okay. I forget what you do. Of course sleep failed on both of them. Well, we won't know what Medusa Balls do. Not for a little bit. I need to heal Maria. There's gonna be something called a witch a watch staff. Oh no, but maybe it was producer to turn rewind. In binding blade? In binding blade, they were gonna have that. Hmm. And I do know of the oh what was it? It was like the download item in Japan where you got like the nut that reduces your levels by three. I do know about that. But that's not really cut content. basically mystery gift. I don't know. I think I think in this case we're better off with Infernos. And I think Medusa Ball, it's just better to deal damage. Maybe I could cast Stop Spell with Kame, but honestly, that's not worth it. Ah, uh, that's why. <laughs> well, Maria's dead. Gr granted, Maria has, like, no HP. Alright, let's get everyone healed. Another dragon stone called the Demon Dragon Stone. So they were trying to do the whole dark tiki thing again, huh? 
in Binding Blade. And Binding Blade was six. All right, so with the Elven Mantle equipped, or the Wind Mantle equipped, make sure you jump off the upper end of the tower. There we go. Now to... Oh no, baboons. And I don't have sleep. I think I lucked out with that crit. Where's the town? Where's the town? There it is. Oh, I made it. Welcome to the harbor town of Lupe, uh, Lupegana. The names are different. I'm a soldier employed in this town. I came here from the eastern land of Alfgard. That country has completely changed. I re recently I heard a rumor that the king has disappeared. Alfgard was the land in the first game. I know I mentioned it once, but I've been reiterating. Even in this place, you can record your journey in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. I must say, it's quite convenient. Uh, I will make a save now. Just do it. But we definitely need to revive Maria. How much? How much money is this going to cost? 120 gold. Alright. Let's use the inn. Gonna need it. 60 gold, okay. <coughs> <coughs> I need to remember to mute when I feel cough coming. <clears throat> the country of Alfgard, Alfgard is across the Eastern Sea. I heard that, a long, that long ago, the hero Roto and Princess Laura came from that country. That is true. hundred years ago. I'm looking for a hot woman. Hey, babe, don't hide back there. Don't you want to have a drink with me? Ah, uh, he's drunk. I don't even want to know, like, how old Maria is, because that might make things worse. Don't you think I'm cute? Do you want a puff puff? Hell yeah! Oh, I am delighted. Let's start. Puff puff. Isn't that wonderful? Um, that's it. Thank you very much. Well then, please come again. And of course, Puff Puff. Gotta have an achievement for the Puff Puff. So, I, I, I'm gonna point out... This girl gave her Puff Puff for, for free. The one at the bathhouse in Olive Garden Dragon Quest 1, you had to pay gold for it. Just saying. I'm just making a statement right there. It's a fact. I'm not saying anything else. What do we got in the weapon shop? Ooh, we could buy a wizard staff for Maria. She definitely needs a new weapon. And it's technically stronger for Kane. Let's see, sacred knife, steel sword. Cloak of Evasion, okay. That's really good. Maria really needs that. Steel armor, steel shield, okay. Oh, the Cloak of Evasion is better for everyone, okay. Even, even uh, my character. Okay. We'll buy one Cloak of Evasion. For Maria needs it more. Okay. 
sell the uh, plain clothes. 23 gold, not much. There are a ton of cut places for binding blades. Six locations. Interesting. There is more to the world to explore, huh? Oh, like, if I remember correctly, in Binding Blade... No, we did explore, like, the full continent. In Binding Blade. Blade... Wait. Blazing Blade, we only explored, like, a small amount. I also get the game's somewhat confused. Sometimes. Binding Blade is the one with Roy. Blazing Blade is the one with Elliewood. Yet... Roy gets the actual sword that's actually on fire in Binding Blade. You see what I mean? <laughs> Help! Save me from the monsters! Kikiki, hand over the girl. Okay. Kikiki, foolish people! We'll devour you right here! Get attacked by gremlins. Let's see. Let's try stop spell, and I think we'll try sleep. Try them both. Okay, they can't be put to sleep. Stop spell did work. Ouch. However, fireball seems to be a breath attack for them. I better heal. Uh, no reason to use stop spell. I'm gonna need to use heal more. Were these places in Binding Blade, uh... Wait, Binding Blade? Yeah. Like, do we have an idea of where they would be at? I think I'll heal more Kane. There we go. Yeah, that was a good move. There we go. We beat the gremlins. That could have been bad. That could have been worse, though. Thank you very much. Please come with me. I'll take you to my grandfather. Hey, Grandpa. I'd like to thank you for rescuing my granddaughter. Oh yes, I'll loan you the ship. You can go when you can go when you're ready. You now have the freedom to sail wherever you like. We get a boat now. This is a harbor town. People from all over the world come through here. Are you travelers? Don't forget to stop by my item shop. What do we got here? Uh, a bell amulet? What's that do? Hold on. I don't know what that does, or I can't remember. Oh, does it protect from sleep or something? Oh, okay, it's called the Banishing Bell. It normally can be equipped. It reduces the character's chances of being targeted by enemies, but it is an accessory. Does not have the effect of accuracy of attacks; it's just the probability of the, the hidden the enemy hitting the focus. Okay. Makes it harder for spells. It also makes the spells hard, such as snooze and fizzle to affect the player character. Hmm. Let me see. Mansion Bell. Named Amulet in a Game Boy Color version. Dragon Dragon's Bane in NES version. Man, that is a That is a weird uh, name change. Okay. Reduces the chance of fizzle and snooze to hit the wearer. It only affects those two spells. And not the similar ones like Sweet Breath. Okay. Everyone can equip it. Normally, the versions of the spells have a three-eighths chance of hitting you. And the bell is... 
in every other version, the success rate is now 3 in 64. Due to a bug in the Super Famicom version, Miri having the accessory in the inventory protects them. Oh no! <laughs> That's broken! I'm assuming this, uh, this version didn't fix that. No, that sounds broken. Uh, is that what I want to do? What's this up here? Oh, the vault. Okay. Actually, I don't think we need the wind mantle anymore. I don't think we need it anymore. So, I'm gonna unequip it. Spirit chain mill, leather shield, helm. Unequip the wind mantle, and I think I'll throw it in storage. I don't think we need it. I think we only need it for the one tower. We can always come back and grab it. No. All right. I'm gonna buy a bell amulet. Let's hand it to Maria. Now, apparently in this version, you don't even need to equip it. I'm going to anyway. It's not gonna... It's not like I have another accessory that's more important to get. Alright. Go through here. And we have our boats. Now the world kind of opened up. However, we want to go immediately to the east. And the overworld changed because we're in Alfgard. I do like how they still kept this music. Welcome to Ratatome Castle. So the castle and the town have now kind of merged. Do you know about the story about of the sunken treasures? No, I haven't. I heard that long ago a very rich merchant was living in the vicinity of the harbor of Lupagana. However, his ship was piled up too high with the treasures and sank from the weight. It went under in the middle of the ocean of the open sea to the north. You're gonna have to remember that. You are cursed. Come here. I'm an expert of, in the field of remo removing curses. I'll see to that that you don't stare death down. Stare down death. Well, we found holy water. Very nice. This is the town of Rotatome. I heard that long ago. The castle and the town were separate from each other. But now there is a path that connects them. Yeah, a hundred years have passed. It really changes a lot, doesn't it? What do we got in the weapon shop? Probably the same stuff, right? Oh no, there's a giant hammer. Okay. Cloak of Evasion. Oh, we could get our helmet. At least for uh, our character. But we are definitely going to want a wizard staff. Well, that we'll probably need at least two, but yeah. Uh, we don't need the inn. Wait. I didn't even use the inn, did I? Oh, no, I did, but the gremlins, that's right. So, there was something about the king going missing? Now, item shop, what do you got? Okay, you could buy another bell amulet. Definitely gonna want three of those. Golden key is necessary to open the golden edge doors. The king has turned up missing. It will soon be the end of this country. Yeah, the king's missing. Where'd he go? Did he get kidnapped? What happened? 
Long, long ago, Princess Laura lived in this very castle. The story that is passed down says that she left on a journey in the company of a young man who saved the world. Many months and years has passed since then. Welcome to Halifgard. Are you people the descendants of the great hero, Roto? Of course, I thought so. You have returned to the land of Radatome. I am not the hero. I'm sorry, I mistook you for someone else. Oh, may the light shine upon the descendants of the legendary hero of yore. At least we still have uh, the guy healing our MP. He's still here. Might as well heal up. Who needs an inn? At least this is still here. Yeah, who needs inns when you can just refill your MP like this? May the Belevolent Gods be an ally of the Belevolent people. How can the church help you? Right, let's go up the stairs. Oh, I can't... I can't go in. I don't have a key. That's weird. Welcome back, descendants of Roto. Scottbot, to reach your... Okay, so he's gonna... He's our save point. Yeah, we'll save. That's all good. Uh, we saved a girl from being attacked by gremlins. And as a reward, we got a boat. And now we're back in Alfgard, back in Radatome. The king's missing. We don't know where he's at. Anyway. We do see the the uh, the final boss castle. I think it's Charlock Castle. I keep I forget if that's actually what it was called though. This is a heavily condensed version of Alfgard though. If I'm correct, like, the only places you could go to here are, uh, Radatome and Charlock. Everything else I think you can't even go to. No reason. It's probably more of a memory limitation, if anything. Because right there would have been... No, not right there. Up here would be would be one town, but it's not there. Yeah, no, it's cool that this game lets you go back to the first uh, world map. Even if it's a smaller, condensed version of it. And the overworld music is back, too. Death God! Whoa, that's scary. Alright, uh, some of these enemies have the symbol of Argon uh, on them. You see that little bat symbol on the top of their hood? That's supposed to be Hargon's bat symbol. Pokemon Gold and Silver? Kind of. Kind of. You know, before Pokemon did it. Oh, I can have three cut characters and one cut skill. Dance was the cut skill, but instead it was turned into command. Oh. Oh, okay. That, I, I see what you mean. Most of the cut content is beta images. Oh, Alright, that's, that's not the worst thing. Granted, gold and silver did a lot more than what this does. But, uh, I'm gonna be honest, though. Gold and silver had, what, ten years of hindsight? And even then, they wanted to, do, they wanted to throw in Kanto, but it almost wasn't gonna work. And that's due to their technical, like, inexperti inexpertise. If it wasn't for uh, Satoru Iwata, we wouldn't have gotten Kanto. 
Iwata just used his technical technical wizardry to like condense like everything to give like way more storage. And that's where one of the other towns would have been, but we can't go there. Because there's no town there. You know, if this game was built with the Super Nintendo in mind, right from the start, I bet you they could have had every town in Isle of Guard be visible. Uh, you could go back to every town, probably. Uh, I don't think sleep is gonna work on these guys, but I'll try it. Oh no! It Oh, it works. Okay, never mind. Revelations is cut character endings. Like, are you talking about the epilogue stuff where it's like the like it shows each character and it's like, oh, this character uh went on to be captain of the guard or something like that. Or is it like a cutscene thing? Seven. Let's see. Strength by one. Speed by two. Vitality by one. HP by one. MP by two. Ugh, not that great. Yeah, Charlock Castle definitely have seen has seen better days. Been run down. But look, this is where the throne was, and this was the staircase that was hidden behind it. Gone Heads and Mummy Man. If I'm going to take a wild guess, I'm pretty sure the mummy cannot be put to sleep. I will try to use Surround. Okay, that worked. Gunter, Scarlet, Izana, and Yukimura. Oh, they had endings? Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense to me. All those characters you named off are characters that are technically version... Not only are they version exclusive, depending on which uh, uh, story path you go down, those are also, like, the characters that can only marry Corrin. Granted, Scarlet... Scarlet and Gunter are in Revelation. Well, technically all of them are, but... Like, you do get Gunter and Scarlet in the team in the story, but then something happens in the plot, so you don't... You can't use them. Almost like, it's the game telling you, hey, you can't... You can't actually use this character. Almost like something bad's gonna happen to them. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna... Heal me. She has like 40 HP. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna cast Infernos right away. Soren had a cloaked portrait. Interesting. Hmm. Probably for. He might have been sneaking around or something in a story cutscene or something. I don't know. It was probably only going to be, like, in a single scene or something. I just never got used. That would make sense to me. Okay, good. Okay, who leveled up? Was it Kane? No, it was me. Strength of five, speed of four, vitality of two, HP by one. You got gold. Let's see. I might try to call uh, my character Erdrick or Roto because the because these characters don't always have official names. It's kind of 
uh, it's kind of annoying to be like, oh, the the main character, my character. Oh, no, these guys can attack twice. Oh, I hate them already. There is nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do. I have to keep going. Can I run? I'm gonna try to keep running away. So if you recall, this pathway led to the Sword of Erdrich. Unless it's a new pathway now, I don't know. Not only are Saber Wolves fast, they can hit they seem to hit twice. It's ridiculous. Oh no, this looks to be the correct path. Hmm. It's like the drag the Dragon Lord's back. What? Yeah, more treasure to get down here, and I don't have a key. So you have come, Cain. I am the great grandson of the Dragon Lord, the King of Kings. Did. Does that imply the Dragon Lord had sex? <laughs> that the Radiance Heather was going to be in it before being put in Radiant Dawn. Oh. Huh. Hmm. I heard recently that the person called Hargon has grown to an um, enormous size. It also seems that his face has become horribly grotesque. Indeed, that is unpleasant. You don't seem open-minded, so I feel awkward asking, asking you this, or asking you something. If you will defeat Hargon, I can tell you something good, and you can take my place. What do you say? Sure. Oh, come forward. Collect five crests. If you do that, I hear that you'll receive the protection of the spirits. It seems there's a small island in the sea south of a town from long ago called Melkido. First of all, go there. If you collect the crests and receive the power of the spirit, you can defeat Hargon. So, can, uh, so the grandson of the Dragon Lord just tells you what you need to do. What if I say no? That is disturbing. You are surprised. You you're a surprisingly stupid person. I have nothing more to say. Get out of here. Not only is he not a fight, uh, like you don't fight him. He seems to help you out. Probably more of like a hey. This other guy is, like, raining in on my thunder. I want to get him out of here, too, sort of thing. And, sadly, I don't have an escape spell. Oh, this is gonna suck. Basically, I either run away from every fight, or I'm gonna end up dying. There is no in-between. A killer ballista. That sounds dangerous. Wait, wasn't... Okay, which one had ballistas that were super accurate? Was it Genealogy or was it Thracia? I think it was Thracia. Yeah, okay. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, we died. Yeah. But here's the thing. When you... When your party wipes out, only you get revived. You still gotta revive the other two party members. Oh, oops. Wrong guy. Yeah, we'll make a record. Okay, hold on. 
I need to revive. Let's start with Kane. 220 gold. Uh, I can revive both, but uh, that uses up almost all my money. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna revive Maria as well. 140 gold. <laughs> Molly, stop. <sighs> One second, the cat wants something. Lynn has a Durandal animation in Blazing Blade. She was... Wait. Were the the legendary equipment, they were going to be given to anyone? They could be used by anyone? That's interesting. All right. So what's interesting, because I technically warped, the boat's right here. So I could just do this. <laughs> I don't have to go all the way around. Man, I wish Dragon Quest 1 had a boat. That would have made this a lot easier. Not that you could really use it that much. There's a couple split paths we could have gone through. That's what I'm going to try to go through right now. Because there's at least one treasure we could get. Dragonflies. I think we need to use stop spell on them. Uh, never mind. Didn't work. Fine, I'll use heal more. Wait, so is Lynn the only one that had a Durandal animation? Because I'm guessing Hector couldn't use it. Could, um, could Ellie would uh, be able to use, what was it, the Monikati? Or the Solkati? It was the Solkati. Okay, I want Kane to heal Maria. Close enough. And then heal more. It was gonna be between Elliewood or Lynn. It was slimmer and shorter in the beta version. That's why Lynn had an animation for it. I think they went with Elliewood. Hector does mention in game that either Lynn or Hillary would can use it. Um with Wait, wasn't Durandal in uh Binding Blade? So they already knew what the sword looked like. Okay. Let's see if I can get sleep off. Well, I got them to fall asleep, but... Uh. Okay. 
I honestly don't know if it's better to put them to sleep or to use illusion. Okay, it looks like they are very weak defensively, but they are fast and strong. They are ca they are glass cannons. It was in the Binding Blade. They already did a lot of retconning and blows in there. Please. So they decided, well, we already did a lot of retconning as it is. Let's, let's not do one more, because how would a weapon change? <laughs> okay, I think we'll heal more Kane. Still big and heavy, just not like the one in the final product. Oh yeah, if if there's a video of it, go ahead and post it, it's all good. Or images, whatever works. Furnos the Gorgon heads. It won't kill them, sadly, but it'll weaken them. Oh no, it killed one. Oh, never mind, it killed all three. Damage range, I'm guessing. Is it a video or an image? Okay, it's a video. Um, actually, hold on. I might be able to... One second. Okay, hold on. I, can, I think I can actually show this. Hold on. Turn grave on. Yeah, there it is. Let's see. Oh, that just looks wrong. That just looks wrong. What the? Why did her health go all the way up? That's weird. That's weird. Again, that just did not look right. All right, uh, that was interesting. <laughs> that was interesting to look at. Maybe I, uh, yeah. okay. If we take the upper stairs, There we go. This is where the Sword of Vergic was last time. Pretty much. And we found the sword. We still found the Urdric sword. To be fair, in Binding Blade, any sword user could use Durandal. That, that is true. We still have the sword, Urdric sword. Okay, how did it get back here? How, how is it still here? Okay, hold on. So you can see that it's an extra 10 damage. 
on. I didn't equip it because I want to check something. You can give it to Kane. He is able to wield Erdrick's sword. Granted, why would you want to do that? Because you, uh, because Erdrick is the stronger of the two. You want him to be the powerhouse. Put it back exactly where. Actually, I have a rec. I, I I have an explanation. You see, the he the hero of Erdrick never found the sword of Erdrick. So it's it was it's not that it was put back. It was just never picked up in the first place. And the the dragon lord actually had no clue where it was either. Oh, is this... That's the infinite room, I think. Okay, now we need to get out of here. We can't open the other door with the other treasure yet. We still need a magic key. I think that... I think Erdrick in the first game just did not find it. I think that's the explanation. You're right. He, he must have had... He must have found a way to lightening up his copper sword. That's probably what happened. It does kind of feel wrong that we already have the Sword of Erdrick. It feels too early to get Erdrick's equipment. But, hey, we got one already. But speaking of which, oh, someone leveled up. We got the Sword of Roto. Also, I think I forgot to show this, but we got uh, achievement for getting the boat. Kane's level 12. Very nice. Oh, now he gets uh, evac. We're going to use that. Now he has it. All right. Let's heal up. Luckily, I don't need to use the pin. Uh, I'm gonna have Maria heal up everyone. Never mind. She has no. She doesn't have the MP. Might as well sell some stuff. Sadly, Kane cannot equip the steel sword. That's disappointing. Alright, let's see. Sell. First, the steel sword. That's a lot of gold that I just got. And we'll sell the leather armor. Alright, what can I buy? I could buy a wizard staff and just be done with it. Well, I would want to. So I'm going to point out, the giant hammer is the same power as Erdrick's sword. Now, I could get the giant hammer for my character, and then I could give Cain the Sword of Erdrick. I could do that. Uh, I can get two Cloaks of Evasion. Yeah. Actually, you know what? No. I'm not going to do that. Even though it is a good idea. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, I will do that. I was thinking of buying uh, the Banishing Bell, but now that I think about it, uh, let's let's actually buy the Evasion Cloaks. And 
then we'll buy another. We'll buy another one. Cane. There we go. Now let's sell my armor. We don't need steel armor anymore. And we can sell the chain mail. And this will let me buy one Banishing Bell. Kind of want two, but hey, you know, it's something. Or Bell Amulet. I think this was the better route to go. Alright, Kane has it. What's the best sword in the game? Usually sequels try to one-up the best weapon from the first game. So, as you can obviously tell, there are better weapons than the Sword of Erdrick. There is an ultimate sword, but we won't find out until the end of the game. Iron Spear, Blood Shield, Bell Amulet. There we go. But yeah, there is a better, there is a new best sword. It just feels wrong that the Sword of, Ur sword of Urdric is not the best sword anymore. Um. They did say something about the crashed ship. I think we could check it out. Now let's try this. The fact that I could buy a hammer that's the same power of Erdrick's sword, in this, in basically right in the same town, tells you that there's better stuff. Weapons involved, and there's bound to be something better later on. Exactly. You gotta rem you gotta remember, uh, the sword of Erdrick was already a legendary weapon in the first game. It was something that the hero Erdrick from before, and I think they said it was a hundred years prior, used when he saved the world. And that was in Dragon Quest One. This game is a hundred years after Dragon Quest One. It's been two hundred years since the hero Erdrick saved Alephgard. So, it makes sense that there would be a stronger weapon. Um... Wait, how do I get out of here? With the bow. Oh, you go... you go south. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, the monolith's still here. Oh, great. Saber Wolves. And Poison Kiss. Um, let's get rid of that, and let's try to put the Saber Wolf to sleep. Good. Granted, Saber Wolves only take one hit from... from Erdrick. At least if you think about it that way, where it's been 200 years since the sword was even made in the first place, there's bound to be a better weapon. At least that would be the explanation. If you are true descendants of Roto, then you, then sh you should have proof. Foolish people, leave! So it looks like there's a helmet of Erdrick. The there were no helmets in the first game, so And also this is where you created the rainbow drop. So they must have found it at some point and then this guy just guarded it after the rainbow drop was unnecessary. Right. This this area, where did this take me? A random island. So where does this teleport take me?
Okay, this looks identical, but it's a different spot. I hear that the Temple of Hargon will appear pe peaceful at your arrival. But it is an illusion. Don't be deceived. Seek the help of the spirit. So you've come. From here, you can reach various places with the Traveler's Gates. Though, you won't be able to unless you have the Golden Key. Where could it be? Where is the Golden Key indeed? I don't know where we are right now, that's part of the problem. Well, let's go back through here. Let's take the left teleport. What, Molly? You just want attention. I think I know what you want, though. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Can't do anything there. We don't have the golden key. Right. So we are just on a random island now. Unless the sword is was made by a god, it should be toppled by something. Else. Right. I'm here. Oh, nope. I can't continue. We need the golden key. Honestly, once you get the ship, the game opens up. It's now, like, not as linear as you think. So far, up until we got to the ship, the game was pretty linear. And both of these are doors that we can't continue. I'm pretty sure there's more places I could explore if I actually just took the ship and just went around. But right now, it seems like this is the only pathway. Oh, basilisks. And why is it called Beasts? That make No. That needed a different name. I need to get rid of them. I sleep on the cobra. On the basilisks. Honestly, I hate these tree guys. In later games. These tree enemies in later games have the ability to revive fallen enemies. It is something you want to get rid of them right away. I'm trying to remember how the Sword of Erdrick was created, but I don't remember. Not at the moment. Found holy water. That's not useful at all. Where are we? Dragon Quest games were more connected to Final Fantasy. At what point did they stop mentioning the first Dragon Quest game? Four. Uh, well, and then they kind of bring it back in 11. I'm going to be honest, they're, they more re they mention three more than they do one. But three is connected to one and two. It is the Urgic Trilogy. But they'll mention three more than they mention one. I think I need to use my herbs. You know, I, uh, depending on how long this takes, maybe we will play three. Three is the glue to all the games. Honestly, it's only the glue to 11. Uh, just some herbs. Like, 11 is, is connected to three, and by extension, a connection to one and two. But every other game after that doesn't really connect to to the first three games. If we don't count remakes. Okay, this did not go well. Um, do I have the gold to revive? Oh, I have the gold to revive, okay. And, it, and four, five, and six are connected to each other. I would say more loosely than one, two, and three. 
but they are still technically connected. Seven's by itself. Eight is mostly by itself. Actually, eight is also has a somewhat connection to, th to three as well. I say slight connection. But it's still most it's still its own thing. Everyone's fully healed, I could save. Actually, this is probably a good spot to stop. Hold on, I'm just now remembering something. Uh I wanna look up the world map of Dragon Quest IX very quick. Because I think that might uh It looks familiar. Honestly, nine could be connected to three as well. And I think in like remakes of, like the remake of three added like a new boss fight that could potentially connect it to AKA four, five, and six. But when I say could connect, we're really talking about like a loose, very loose connection. Anyway, I do think this is probably a good spot to stop. We got the Erdrick Sword. We, we're not done with Olive Guard, but we have talked to the grandson of the Dragon Lord, so we kind of know what we need to do. We need to find five symbols. Uh, and because we have the ship, we have a few places to go. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save here. And we can explore more. Anyway... Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. If you, if you like this, maybe give a follow if you're interested. But I'm pretty sure you are the type of person to not need me to remind you to follow. Right? Anyway, uh, the grandson is pretty chill. Yeah. We are either the grandson of the hero from the first game or, like, I think we're more great-grandson, you know, 100 years later. But, yeah. So that's kind of how the first two games are connected. We're just related to the hero, but they're, you know, we go back to Owl of Guard and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, tomorrow we got a lot of places to try to explore. Anyway, have a good day.